Welcome, guys, gals, and nine but non-binary pals at nine <laughs> to the first NBA match of the season. I'm feeling great. Trigger, how about yourself? I'm feeling great. I'm excited. Week one vibes. Here we go. Got an exciting Elysium match to start us off on this week one of play. It's gonna be great. Yep, we have FT versus Cloud Sust. Uh, both teams actually having some history, and I believe you you know a little bit more about that striker than I. Ah, yes, the flaming Tanuki Elysium roster did take home the trophy last year. Not everyone returning, but the reigning Elysium MVP, Zaf, selected first overall, first pick by FT once again, will lead them into battle going up against his former teammate, Jigoku, the KO extraordinaire from Elysium last season. Some other great faces moving up divisions or staying here in Elysium from the last session should be a great game. My personal, I'm, I'm very interested to see Sci-Fi uh, pre, pre, previously on the Aspidal roster last season. Yeah, as you said, moving up now to Elysium. I want to see how he plays with these higher ELO players. Obviously, he, he's at the ring to do so, but how well does he mesh with them? How well does he mesh with his team on CS? And again, Zaf just being one of the all-stars of last season, uh, being a captain this, this season for his team. I want to see how he works with Creeper Zone, with Haritsu. A lot of these sort of... I wouldn't say not non-team player players, but very aggressive in their play, play style. Yeah, absolutely. Zaf is a very powerful vibes guy for the team. Keeps the, the team mood in there as I played with him as uh, back in all the way back in season two of Elysium. We were teammates. One of our nice runner up finish. We got his final crown, but he's a great teammate to have. And I think he can keep this uh, cast of aggressive characters together. And then on this side, I got Turbo run it back. Now going to be known as Demon this year. So if you hear us say Turbo, we're talking about Demon. And we'll try to get it right most of the time. We have Mason. And right now we're going into our map veto selection. So here it comes. We're playing. With our nice new overlay. Look at that. Look at how clean it is. Uh, we have, again, FT versus Cloud Sess. Uh, map veto one is going to be, you can see it live. Or map choice one. I wonder what these, you know, this first match. No one, we don't know what people have been scrimming, what maps they feel confident on. So it's been an interesting first litmus test. Especially uh, after it only being like one week of scrims potentially, one week of practice. Yep. Um, honestly, I'd be surprised to see Ascent here. Knowing both these teams, I feel like Ascent would be either terrifying or uh, a stomp for whatever side you're on. Uh, so I yeah. feel like both teams are, are not really looking forward towards this end. FT was known for their powerful ascent last season, but again, mostly fresh faces. It'll be interesting to see. I wonder if they'll just pick the premiere map. They might have been playing that already. The premiere map has been interesting, not to say the least. Premiere has been interesting, not to say the least. Um... I would love to see some Pearl. I know everyone hates Pearl. Pearl is one of my favorite maps. I know Belong is contentious, but I think with the changes they've done, it's definitely a bit more even uh, towards those. You know, players. look, if uh, they're not playing Swamp Comp, I'm okay to watch Pearl. <laughs> if it's Mirror Swamp Comps, I don't want it. You know, I just don't want to see that much Harper and that much Viper. It's too much. You know, maybe like... An Astra Harbor? That could be fun. I think the one map I don't want to see because I'm just tired of it right now is Haven. It looks like we're getting a pick right now. Uh, Haven Band. Haven Bind Band. and... Oof. Out of the gate. Haven and Bind. Haven, I personally hate, but Bind, my child. I'm not a big Bind guy, map. I'm going to be honest. But I feel like... Well played out maps. Lotus pick one. One of the newer maps in the pool. Picked by the Tanukis. Interesting. Now, Lotus, it's very interesting for them to pick them because uh, I would say with Cloud Sus, their best, or not best, but most played smokes across all their team members is Omen. So, and Omen, while decent on Lotus, is not super great. You would rather prefer an Astro, maybe even a Harbor, uh, Viper, oh, kind of hit or miss there. Is our and next Split pick. being picked as the second one. Both great Viper maps. Very interested to see the, the smokes line up there. I'm, I'm 
from what I can tell from my research, no one really plays Viper. Or not, not extensively, anyway. Fracture, next ban. You know, it's interesting, though. Like, Tanuki's banning Haven, but picking Lotus. Still going to the other third site map. Pearl banned. And Ascent. Dash at the last. Interesting. Ascent will be our decider. The classic, do you know how to Valorant map, will be our decider, should it be needed. Uh, CF Cloud Sus is going to attack on all three maps. Well, FT is defending on all three maps as well. FT really either like impress and know their strength for defense, or just kind of getting the unlucky end of the straw there. I mean, they did get to pick at least one of those. Maybe they just feel confident on that defensive side. The other team, maybe they just really do want to be attacking like that so it'll be interesting to see especially with some of the aggression shown in that ft roster interesting to see how will they play a more disciplined defense or will they be taking those early challenges fighting for map control now lotus i'm very interested to see cloud sus maybe play super aggressive there uh, just with a team of just aggressive players we know sci is really great on his raise uh i would say jigoku is really great on his ko ko not a very mm, I, would, I would repeat it not necessarily a non-super common pick, but still a strong pick, especially with how much info you can get with, with knife lineups and flashes around the corner. Sky may be a little bit preferred as your flash initiator here if you're doing a single. Uh, Breach, I think maybe has fallen off a little, but I still think has some really cool trap play capability, but is certainly less flexible than KO or Sky in this context. I would love to see some Astra gameplay from either FT or CS. Uh, I would but... love me. I do love an Astra on this map. I think Harbor has some really good utility, though. That wall for attacking all the sites is so powerful if used correctly. That, that rechargeable wall that you can move around like a Phoenix wall. Uh, and just being able just to control his, uh, her, his first ability, just pushing it up, gaining that space would be great. It looks like we're going to start right. We're going to go into the match right now. And with our first map being Lotus, we'll go ahead and transition to our uh, agent, agent picks for both. Select. Here's Come our in. wonderful new UI. Look at it. It's pretty. All right, it's here so we go. Pretty. See what people are starting to think. I see already, it looks like FT already kind of figuring out their team of Icy on Rays, Creeper Zone on the Sky, Rays Ego locked on Omen, mm. Prisma on KJ, and the Breach, by the Breach by Zav. I do, look, I like it if you have those good set ideas, Zav, former Overwatch player, definitely values utility at a high level, does have his fingerprints kind of all over it. I don't like the Omen pick, I know... I said this earlier, but Omen, I just feel like, is one of the weaker smokes on this map. Yeah, he's kind of, you know, he's pretty... I think Omen has... He's never the best smoke on almost any map, but he's always just an acceptable smoke. Very flexible in use. Maybe they have some aggression, some lurk plays that they want him to do, potentially. So that'll be interesting. Um, looks like... Mason currently hovering... The KO, I think. Okay, wow. Chamber. Chamber, I think, coming back in of those small buffs. Choose your agent. Made him a little more playable. Demon and sci fi. Demon picking Breach. Sci fi with the raise, as I called it. Both teams opting for Omen Smokes, kind of going for the more aggressive play style instead of. Yep, very similar comps. A near mirror match, but it's going to be that KJ versus the Chamber being the major difference. A little better side hole versus, you know, that. If you want to try to get an op with someone in hand, you know, you'll get an op out of twice as much if you do with that chamber in hand, and that can really help control some of these long angles for those initial engagements. Yeah, but that puts you in in the um, in the forefront of that initial game engagement. With KJ, they're definitely you can definitely play them more. But they're definitely a bit more passive. You kind of play them want to play them a little bit more retake like. You want to make sure, hey, we're gonna stall with my utility. Yeah, for sure. All right, here we go. Setups coming out, looking like we're getting. Pretty sentry. Yeah. 
pretty standard initial KJ setup. Seen a single hold C, two players B, two players A. Placing a lamp. Breakable door does allow for Placing faster four grenades. Placing a. four grenades. Like a major. Yes. Ooh, I'm running into a breach down with a phase nade. I'm talking about that. I'm running up to Roger. Yeah, they're here. already spreading out already, playing a default, but leaning toward A. Grenade! Common setup if you're coming to play. Bait. They've baited out that initial set of utility. Mason taking that first contact through here. Holding for a flank though. It's Demon. Mason taking this first contact. Seeing one Zaf jump spotting. Take that first bit of contact. Prepping the flash. Now we're rotating. Three now rotating over. Take that first bit of away. Takes some damage. Gets out very low on HP. Alright, now more community towards A. Can get healed back up by Creeper? Did buy that heal. She coming still. One holding. Three now over the A side for the defender. Still five here. Not making too much progress in, but door has not been broken. Smoke's potentially Shadows coming out. Four all four taken. Door getting open. A goes to the door. Three stuns. Trying to figure out a little bit. Icy comes down in. Oh, he puts that first kill onto Icy. Sci-Fi gets one on his staff. Moff gets creeper zone. Very quickly a 5v2. Spike a. planted. Ego. I get this flag. Oh. Mason gets out 40 HP left on Ego. Not a lot. Breaks some of the util. Prisma going to back him. Stealing sight. The blind swinging out on. Counter flash though. Last oh. player standing. Oh. And Mason beats up Ego. Round one. Attackers. Honestly, it was looking kind of as kind of scary for Cloud Sister there, especially hitting on FT's kind of stronger sight in the pistol round with three of them already having, but that Sky Uto with the dog and the flash being able to isolate um, I mean, the zap uh, of the raise. No, I'm wrong. Um, I see him as the I, I see as the raise. And just being able to just get that one pick and being able to snowball from that was just huge for their pistol round. Going into this round as an anti so. Yes, excellent scaling. Forever! Buy two sheriffs kind of bought. They're trying to get some extra economic damage though. Mason with the rifle. Full rifle. Bulldog. Two specters. And a single stinger. Still their advantage. Zaf. Trying to play deep. Will this dog see him? Just there. dodged it. Take that first time. The first pick. On. Go. Damage, but will clean off Zap. I see though. Collects sci fi. Mason now holding him. Nade comes in. Start broken. Working their way in potentially to be spiked though. Still down in the lobby. Being held now by Prisma and I see. I see. Gets flat. With that sheriff. Big iron. Like the creep. I'm off. Getting their way out. Gun upgrade re secured. And I see though. Gets one. Mason. Now, it's Flash. Decently turns it though. Last yeah, player Gigo standing. Who wins it out. Demon also collects Prisma. One versus three. Black Creeper Zone. Sheriff in hand. Spike planted. Economics has been done. Flash doesn't see anyone. Still kind of. They're a little separated here, are our attackers. Be careful to try to get into more tradable positions. Yep. Moft going back to play with Sky. Demon working his way in. Towards B, holding for that B push. This may let Creeper just kind of sneak in, but they will allow for that flank. Flash gets no one. Creeper just looking to do some economic time ticking down. He's not checking. Oh, swings into checks. Goku misses the shot, and Goku cleans him up. Second big on the board. Big from CS being able to just keep that vandal up. I didn't notice that Mason's about that vandal there. If they lost that Vandal, that would have been devastating for their economy. But it looks like we're going to go into a bonus round. More or less the first rifle of the round. Looks like there's still some mixed buys of Phantom, Light Armor, Vandals with Light Armor. It, it, it looks like it's still going to be sort of Placing a swarm grenade. rough round. Placing Swarm Grenade. Yeah, big Nitas. Big stabilizing round here coming out for FT. Pressure, utility traded, team team that early aggression with that Spectre. Right, Blinded. Right. Right. Trap like comes in, Creeper gets that first pick onto Demon. Dog comes for him. The Aftershock trying to put him out. He's spamming into the smoke. He's gonna get out. Prisma also spams around the door. 
first kill going in favor of him. He's going very low on HP. He can't heal himself. He's actually... Ice, he gets him though. Spike down, two see. players left who do want to get the claws around here. That would be huge, Mason. Looking to take some contact right now. And spring away. Bring in a rifle. Get ice. But Zaf clicks him off. Prisma gets Mason. Very clean. Only one dying. Very good first rifle round for FD. Beautiful uh, util uses by uh, FT, especially by Zaf there at the end using his um I can't even remember the ability for Reach because I don't fucking play Reach. <laughs> but using his aftershock to clear out that corner and making sure his teammate can't either swings at him and he swings into a bunch of gunfire or he's stuck there. And what happens is he dies. A beautiful use of utility. That's something that's so small that you won't see in low either. Yeah, right. Money Kind of okay for F2, mostly kind of able to force by here. Alright, sus. Taking kind of default. Nade comes out, pushing them off that A long angle. Still KJ single holding C. Mason gonna try to maybe peek, try to work mid a little bit here. So it could be a ceiling. They're slowly kind of slowly away after working out that raise nade. Mason kind of working the lurk. Here comes that sky flash. Is going to ping Mason. I do know someone here is holding mid. That might just cause Mason to back out. There's going to be a lot on to Prisma with four players. How see? He probably hears that orb get tapped. Jengoku, smoke's coming in. Jengoku probably going to start flashing in. Demon satcheling onto site. Oh, just a in there. Oh, invulnerable. 30 HP. Taking a lot of damage. Prisma holds these tight ends. Gets stunned, though. Mod collects that first kill onto Prisma. Demon getting healed. But Ego cleans him up. Four versus four. Spike knocked down. Spike now being planted. Ice though gets Moth. Ice Spike gets down. Goku. C. Two versus four. Spike is still down. Trying to plant for Jet Mound, but they're not able to get it. 30 seconds left. And gets killed by side by three versus two. Zap trying to flash him out. Doesn't get hit with that utility. Bit of a cross here being held. Here comes the Rage Rocket. Leah Mason. Leah Creeper. Ice is hey, up for their guys. third on the round. 2-2. Two, two. KJ kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, either running into that nade and running, either running back and getting dead, dead by it, or just having to take the fight with all the units from the flash to the sky dog, the smoke, just trying to get info from the team. And I see being able to clean that up for them, just making sure, hey, we're, they're not gonna get the site, they're not gonna get plant down. Absolutely, I see an ego doing a good job of cleaning up the initial stall and damage done by. Placing spawn grenade. Now sus onto a save with a bulldog and a couple of sheriffs against full rifles now. Here comes Demon with that sheriff trying to take some initial contact, trying to get that pet, get a rifle in their hands, trying to work some thrifty magic. And uh, at this point, they're just trying to, if you're the Flaming Tanukis, you're just trying to get this round clean, start keep building that bank. I'm liking what I'm seeing from FT as well, just holding their angles, not over rotating until they hear some sort of like execute happen. They're just holding. They're just holding yep. and waiting. They're playing, playing the time very, the defenders. very, very disciplined play here. Looks like we might be getting an, a big A exact. Two players on the site proper, flashing, just picking one mid. Might be the key. Ego getting ready for that quick rotate. It's going to be a big five man eco burst. Onto the A site. Can these numbers overwhelm these rifles? Creeper breaks. Makes them think about it. Time ticking down. About 35 seconds left. Contacting through. Looks like they're going to take this B. Being 30 quiet. seconds left. Door kind of open. Creeper holding for that B main. He might not. So, dog reveals it. Demon, though, what a shot. That's a rifle down. Rifle recovered. In a hand, four versus five. Post plant, waiting through. Spike planted. Under Killjoy though, coming out. Moth though gets that. Three versus two. If you're on I see gets one back though. Good flash. Sci-fi. Low HP. Prisma though gets sci-fi. Oh, get one. One enemy remaining. Icy. One versus one. Mason both low HP. That's a great nade. Oh. Icy, Mason just had to run out of it where that nade was gonna get him. Right on top of the teleport. Aid in a hard place. Put it on the board for the defenders. So much util, just use all at once. Just, what, a good 30, 35, 40 seconds of just 
nothing. No silence, no information. Both teams just holding and waiting. But that one slip up of breaking that door allowed that team just to go in. Just being able, outside of being able just to use that my player box. advantage. Out of still losing the round, but still a smart Party play nonetheless. Out. A lot of economic damage done keeps the economy of Tanuki's being attacked. You get hot eight. and heavy for about 45 seconds, about six people die in the span of You want to play, play. Let's all, all play. And one already popping off. Yeah, Mason trying to make this eco work with the op, trying to hold this long angle. Jump spot. Good baits out, they know the op. He's now on A side. Sci fi kind of holding this lurk, a little odd as a, awkward as a breach, but he's probably coming to rejoin the team now, it seems. Mason just taking this a big first contact. Teleporter isn't down, so he's just kind of doing this. Oh, as it already had been used, unfortunately. Zaf playing. I see now coming to reinforce. Zaf holding for it. Take contact. Mason collects Zaf. Here comes Demon. Trying to get in. Pushing through deep. Icy on site. All sorts of util. Trying to survive. Get a bit of a nose alt. But sci fi collects Icy. There's too many people on site. Blinded. Ego gets that flash. Sees Ego. Guns. In their hands now already fought. Now Spike planted. Angle. Post plant positions makes her demon gets Prisma. Go. Tapping in. Mason gets out after the one shot. Collects one another one though. Gets his second on the round. Uh, he sprays the smoke, slowly taking damage, trying to see what he can do. But it is a one versus five. A tall order. Just just be a save, but Mason the is on the hunt. To find him. The creeper wins it out. One kill down, but Mason uses all. That was a rifle he had picked up. Just the save going to come in. And this will start swinging the economy back in the favor of Cloud Sus. An important round for them to try to, to stabilize on. That feels really way better now, especially with you know, still three ultra oh, and, and they, they get the pin. Zone. Buzzer beater. <laughs> Creeper zone, just maybe potentially trying to get an eco frag, but just not paying attention too well. <laughs> Cloud Sus opting for the op on the chamber after he's used his ult, just making sure that you keep that aggression forward and still get that fear into FT, having great economy as well. FT going on a mix buy of some vandals and a marshal. It looks like on Zap. Trusting the their headshots and eco going on just a classic. Bit of a mixed buy. Those three rifles, though, still Blinded. Good. get some good value. Some will still be able to buy rifles next round based on bonuses. Creeper zone trying to. Nope. You can see a little mid still leaning more C. They haven't hit C in a couple of times. Prisma can be C. Take that first contact. Get that big first kill on the dude. Gets one. two onto Mason. Ooh. Great shooting. That is the op down. Concussing. Prisma yeah. holding down the site solo, getting. And just getting the fear on F of Here's them. Potentially being the ult through the door. But sci fi hears them. Here it comes. Flash comes through. Bails out. Smart play. Cabbages see that they're all there. Flank though is being worked. They down. They're not able to tell that they're being flanked. Moft and Icy timing could be weird here. Oh, Moft wins out onto Icy. Big pick allows the rotate to come in. Zaf, though, just has that Marshall is gonna have to get a big angle kill here. Oh, and he misses the first shot. Here comes the kill. Oh, Flash gets him. No damage 30 seconds done. left. They're coming on to A. A is free. I've got your Flank trail. Well secured. They're gonna know they're going to be from the flight based on the cabbages. The trailblazer usage. Spike, Spike going planted. down. Setting up their post on site and in the rot. Holding through the door room. Will they open the door and come out? Door open, will they go through? Flash potentially being timed up. Breach util. Prisma though gets their third onto Jingo. But here comes that breach all flex on big. So I find gets Prisma. One enemy remaining. Gets Ego. It's all on Creeper Zone. Full HP. They're lined up for him, but Moth gets their third of the round. Honestly, Moth being MVP of that round. Especially after Icy reclaimed so much space and just losing that flank battle for that 1v1 and then cleaning up at the end right there. 
Moff just making sure his teammates aren't he aren't at the disadvantage and making sure he's winning his 1v1s, which are very crucial in those moments right there. Absolutely top dragging on Omen. Does anyone have fun? It's like FT look, opting for an even cheaper eco round of marshals and sheriffs, okay. all with all with light armor and Cloud Sess just with the better guns. No, and better bit armor. of a, a wild, wild west vibe. Four big irons and a, and a ranch rifle. Up some aggressive space through the storm smoke, but it's one way off. Uh, Sci-fi collects icy. You go holding. Well, they just kind of peek into him. Zaf gets tagged up a little by Demon on that jump spot. So it's Creeper as well, taking these jump peaks. Playing a little patient. Might be trying to get a retake. Dirt, though, still controlled by Ego. Big default now coming out for Hunt Cloud Sus. You know, if you're taking that contact to there, Demon gets a Prisma. That's... Good, they're gonna, they're gonna get B. Oh. Flash is out. He knows he has to have it. Holy smoke spamming into the smoke. And oh, they're there. Sci fi collects Ego. Bit of a gun diff there. Really the Reapers are getting killed out of their mind. Response to some of their own. Two versus Last five. Standing. Demon gets Raph. Reapers don't get Moth. Prevents the flawless round. Oh, they could have killed him, but Mason on that flank cleans up the round. Now on the board for Cloud Sus. Well, honestly, you have to get out just getting one. Best bet right there. Um, a little silly to push up the one-way smoke. Maybe they they thought they could really swing out wide and potentially get one, but unfortunately they were shift walking there. Cloud Sus in a really good spot right now. Even if they lose two or three rounds, they'll still have enough money besides Moth. But even then, Moth can hold his own. Placing alarm bot. Placing so maybe in those next rounds, they placing swarm grenade up online again. Placing swarm grenade. Off, FT, but yes. alt, but has four ults. Maybe they can turn it around here. Yeah, flying out recently as expected. This is still more or less an attacker sided map. So FT will try to get maybe five rounds. Feels like a successful half. They're just gonna try to get two more, at least. Blinded. Flashing, gonna take some Mason, lurk. Uh, mid, Creeper Zone gets him on the jump spot. Ego moving into support. I see. The demon taking first contact. Ooh, tap through the wall. Good damage. Might be able to get healed back. Depending where the sky is. Rotates coming over to A. Smoke trying to cut off some information. Sci fi coming to work with Mason on this B lurk. Three players working A. Spike is, though, on that A side. Three players have come to respond. Still one player holding C, and it's all on Creeper Zone, holding down B. Two players still potentially trying to lurk there, holding for a push out. Sci-Fi potentially going to flash them on. Might be a bit of a B aggression trying to get this player here. The other three players on each side posturing on A. Smokes to deploy. First contacts are taken. He goes, Smokes, spamming through. 30 the seconds paper left. walls there. Creeper gets one. Creeper Zone gets one. Mason, though, gets Prisma. Creeper's on Mason must only there. Oh, but Moff comes through. They come through on a B explode. Hello. Ego. Doing with a demon. That has that Spike ult planted. in a retake scenario. Here comes that swing. Oh, Jigoku gets Ego. Flash comes through. Hey, Flash. They all speed up real quickly there. Kill for Demon, Moff, and Jigoku. Sixth round on the board for Cloud Sus. Yeah, unfortunately, Creeper Zone being able to get one, but hearing that they're, they're executing on B through a door and just not being able to get the back to spawn in time. That split de se se second decision, I can't speak today. Uh, that split second decision of deciding to run away and not being able to take the fight probably is what, you know, lost in that round. If you could have just gotten one more, that probably would have evened the numbers just a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Light by coming out. Judge, Marshal, one rifle, two sheriffs against full rifles. The money just out of control for Cloud Sus. Get some initial damage, but takes more than they get. And he's healed back up. Get out, Icy. Oh, could we catch him in, the in there, you tell. Here comes Demon, ripping it through. Shoots through. Oh, Moth collects Icy. And now deep in that site, Moth has the ego. By the bot, getting the spam through the smoke by Five Demon. Planted. Three versus five into the post plant. It is the ideal dirt post plant. They're trying to work out to that dirt position. Get out of Demon here. gets his aff. Creeper Zone still holding the waterfall. Breaks the dog. Mason cleans him up on the swing. Prisma 
100 HP, Sheriff, and a Dream, and I'll have one versus five. Long. And Mason cleans it up. Seven rounds now on the board. Momentum. Wait, the first, the first flawless round? First flawless round of the season. Momentum feeling very much in the favor of Sus. Time out coming. And Flash, yeah, call, Flash calling a timeout for his team right here. Kind of figuring out either maybe to tackle the timeout just to slow the momentum or just kind of re recalibrating with his team, figuring out new strategies. Again, both teams have have been practicing, are sort of ready for these matches. So and it looks like they have a lot of good setups on A, B, and C. They have a great default. It just seems like they're losing their 1v1s a little bit more. It just seems like just these micro decisions here and there, they're just making the wrong calls and they just... And that's ruining their mental a little bit. And they need to pick themselves up and make sure that they know they're doing their best. And they just need to just make quick, better micro decisions. Yeah, absolutely. A little, little bit of a reset here. Get the mental reset. But also, maybe there's a few tactical things they could do just a touch different. But as you were saying, they mainly, they're in the right spot. They're just not winning their gunfights. These little unfortunate timing moments. They'll try to recapture their momentum when they had those three straight rounds. Honestly, if I'm SP, 8 4 is probably the best I'm, I'm thinking of right here. Especially with CS is just insane money. Just each member already about to max out. I, I not, I'd be surprised, not surprised to see like a bunch of shares being pulled out next round. Mark's 300 bucks. 300 credits now, but Shorty is still an excellent weapon. Rifle versus rifle. Mason takes some immediate flash contact reach until you say back and forth on A. Smoke's being deployed. Three ults available for the defenders of a very powerful retake with KJ and Breach ult. Rotating back over towards that seaside, Prisma will have to hold the line. Maybe I think here's coming. Moment. Smoke is going to reveal it. Nade comes out. Flash comes in. Flash cracking on the site. His demon flashed out. Gets that first big pick onto Prisma. KJ ult will not be usable in the post plant. I see trying. Gonna take contact with Mason through these smokes. Gets that first kill onto Mason. Leveling up four versus four. Nate out. No worries. Taking contact. Side by side. Standing him through. Zaf though gets deep. In the meantime, Ice is so weak. Has to get out, but Zaf side by side cleans him up. Breach is doing work for their both. So on both sides. He goes and gets skied out. Here comes that ult. Last player standing. Zaf collects. And Ego finishes off him off. Great retake here by FT. Grab some stabilization. Get that fourth round on the board. Three players surviving. Should a well-needed well win from FT right here. Beautiful ult usage, even though they lost the KJ at, at Last the beginning round right there. In the being half. able to use that breach ult just to retake. Uh, both breaches being able to use great util. Icy gang more or less stuck in a corner and then aftershock killing him. And that breach ult being used to regain Turn control of suicide. The ego great, gaining so much space and being able to go on the flank, killing that omen and securing a round for them. Yeah, Beautiful plays by every single Mason being so early really picked off by an IC, allowing that flank to happen. Prisma, I feel like this round really needs to work on staying alive for that retake with that KJ all. You want to play? Yeah. Let's play. Wants to play a game. Utility traded down on A long. Swinging. Gets Icy. Trading back on the moth. Sci fi gets Zaf. Buy some time with some smokes. Flash and raise nade coming in. Works through They're spamming into the smoke. Demon onto site. So I've got your trail. In. Demon gets creeper zone. Two versus four. Demon. You guys are running to ego. Oh, I'm on out. Remaining. But sci fi trades him out great. Prisma gets one onto Jigo. Gets the first. One versus three. Spike planted. Average gonna reveal their position. Mason holding a devilish angle here with this op. Well, Prisma think to check it. Time ticking down. Breach ult as well for post plant. Oh, Mason. Timing Fight down out. self. Might re-challenge, though. Teleport. Prisma worked in. They, they are running out of time. Gonna have to rip this. That breach ult to make things so tough. They're d d walking, working the double flank. Mason cleans up the round. 8-4 half. And honestly, that's the best they could have asked for with that rough start sides. there. And a 4 app is really good for FT right there. Let's see if their defense would be any different. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my. Um, so four players in double-digit kills for uh, Cloud Sus and uh, Jigoku. 17 assists. 
That's a great initiator right there. That's a great initiator. Three, six, and seventeen. Especially for someone that's kind of been doing the KO one trick, being able to do this with the sky. Beautiful right here. I would love to see FT and what, what they're gonna try to plan next here. It looks like they're defaulting C. Just gonna do like a massive C hit and just overwhelm them. It looks like that's that might be FT strategist barreling them down. Yeah, I doubt that. I think this is where the potential weakness of the uh, chamber is. There's just so much. There's no delay on C here. You have, the delay is done. Here they are flooding through. Breach utility traded back and forth. Because I'm taking space onto site. Under cause sus. It was pretty content to play a post plan. Five versus five post plan. A pretty important this round. And they have planted for mound. Three players playing mound. Two working water. Demon tapping away though. Zaf cleans up Demon. Gets that first kill. Five versus four. They're swinging out creeps on the great crossfire. Saving ego. Getting him off. He's trying to work his way through, but the turret checks him. Nice to get the base. Ego gets Ego. Sci fi gets Reaper Zone. One, two versus two. Very quickly. Ego is all being icy. One Flying enemy remaining. Oh, what a shot by no, Jigoku. So but time. Just down. Zap with the util. I think, though, so. they have bought enough time. This little round will go. Valiant retake by Cloud Sus. He's dying on the piss around. Not super ideal, but still, still the main reason being that aggressive is to play the bomb there, making sure um, a CS does not get on there to defuse, and they played it perfectly. Great neutral perfect. usage from Zap in the end there. Cost him his life, but breach is the breach thing and delay just long enough to get that round win. Well, it's like both teams are just gonna barrel down A. Two Guardians, two Bulldogs, and a Spectre against one Sheriff, four Classic. So much breach utility traded back and forth. It's taking jokes and jumping up. Taking care of Why are trying to right click, but Ego picks him up. Great flash though. Ego gets two though. He's trying to get one. Get out of there. It's another. Two kills. Three versus five. Low H. Prisma working a pretty good lurk deep into B. Not over committing. A lot of map control for Tanukis. I think they're just going to wind up going. I might just plant. Planning B here. Prisma gets mopped. Two versus five. Classics in hand. I did a cheeky kill. Maybe die to spike is the best you can hope for here. Prisma working a good timing. Oh. Oh, 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 they're... One uh, enemy remaining. I see though, get Nathan. Zaf gets a sci-fi flawless round. Pre uh, pre 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 Prisma either just lagging a little bit with their 1,000 plus ping. We'll, we'll say it was a tactical, you know, sound uh, sound cue, trying to distract I, the enemy. Uh, we'll, we'll MMDC, uh, that looks like a stable 1,600 ping. Most, most likely we're going to run into a tech pause here, and there it is right there. We're, we're going to go ahead and give a quick tech pause while Prisma kind of figures out their internet issues right here. Honestly, a great first match for both Elysium teams here. FT showing just second round after winning the pistol. Uh, even with their gun advantage, they want to play, and they are here to make sure they don't get knocked out. They want to make sure that CloudSess knows they can be aggressive too. Just... Just because they chose defense doesn't mean they're passive. Absolutely. And with that flawless round, they have such a powerful bonus right now with two Guardians, two Bulldogs, and that Spectre. This Honestly, is a great, yeah. good chance for a win. Going to a rifle round, more or less, with the majority of your team having rifles, even though there's no quote unquote weaker ones, is great, especially for your bonus. You just get like, you get a, a headshot with that guardian or like a headshot with a bulldog and a body shot. There you go. You have gotten rid of one of their vandals and you can steal it later if you want. Absolutely. Or if you just do a bunch of damage, make this expensive money. It'll be tough to rebuy Mason though. Getting just aggressive position. Tapping away. Icy collects that first kill onto Mason. Big down. first pick. And that's a rifle easily recovered. 
for the attackers. All right, rotates coming in over to the seaside. Will they aggress? Spike coming towards C. Looking for them up, getting into a C confrontation. Okay, for a little blade, raise nades being traded. Satchel out. Flash packing on is icy. Too much ice. All four players though. Now kind of collapsed on C. May have waited a bit too long. Let's see how this plays out. Good flash comes to Satchel. Gets one with that bulldog. Icy gets another on to Goku. Five versus two. Spike should be going down pretty easily now. Please Moth working on this flank. Could be interesting timing. Ego holding has a pretty brutal hold here. This might just be a save. Two versus five and money dire. It looks like we're getting us a pretty quick save call here from Cloud Sus. I don't disagree with the decision. I'll call this one on out though. Ego gets mothed. Brutal timing. Sci-fi. I don't know where he is. Lone survivor. Going into tree. They're hunting for him. Another rifle collected. Four vandals now picked up. Prisma looking to complete the set. Sci fi trying to at least get some damage done or at least survive. Spike detonated, just, just trying to work the clock. Are people, I think, content to keep what they have. Big bonus win here for the Tanukis. A smart call by Sci Fi there just for the save. Tanukis, great bonus round. Going out with four Vandals and a Bulldog and amazing money, especially for Prisma with 5.8k credits. Meanwhile, Cloud Sus not looking too hot anymore. Still having a Vandal, but now they're, they're going to have to resort to Sheriffs and Stingers. Uh, it looks like one of them is even going for a Classic and no ult online for either team. Correct. You know, eco scenario. And I have to try to play cheeky, get a little aggressive. Pushing up, spamming through the smoke. Quick rotate though, headed towards CC has been left gambled. Left completely open. Mason trying to take contact mid. Here comes that flood. Mason knife out. Good, good timing here. And but what a shot by Mason gets a rifle. And four versus five. Gun still definitely in the favor of the Tanukis. Getting full control of the sea site. Big three-person flank might be coming from dirt. Who's attacking? Who's defending? Zaf is gonna have to head this off. Rifle in hand. Big first gets the Goku trades back. Who oh. gets another under Prisma? Two versus four. Another gun down. Cover going on. Well, potentially swinging back. Oh. But big flag. I see gets two. Oh. Leveling score two versus two. Blind. Standing through your two flashes. One to enemy delay. remaining. I see gets third with the nade. I see gets a fourth with the nade. I see going big with the 4K with the flank. Them knowing there's there's at least one person on the flank, not not holding mount. Instead, aggressing spawn and waterfall, making sure they could get, gain that space back. And what? How did that pay off? Icy getting four because of it. Beautiful. Now Icy got the team in his satchel satchel right now. We're going for another tech pause. Both teams. FT looking basically like Cloud says did uh, just in the other half of just beautiful money, great guns, being able to buy each other and almost maxing out. Meanwhile, Cloud Sus unable to kind of keep up with the economy. Mason kind of opting for the op here. If they lose this, especially with him having half armor, that's a big chunk of credits lost. And if one person on FT just decides, hey, they want to op, which is great for defense, not so great for offense, in my opinion. It's good. It's gonna be so hard just to even push on the sites. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. I think the op is a good gamble here for Cloud Sauce. Without that that KJ to really slow denial, they need something a little more aggressive to try to lock down one of these three sites. And a well used op could be just what they're looking for. And this is what we were worried about with Chamber being your main sentinel. He's great for aggressive plays, but then he's out there doing the aggressive plays. He's not holding sight, he's not stalling sight. As we saw in that last round, they got C completely for free because they had nothing stopping. No sentinel util, no initiator util. 
they, they could just go on there and take the site. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the double-edged sword of Chamber on this map, or especially when he's your single initiator. Mason, you tilled off, smoked off, immediately kind of devalued here. A aggression coming in for the Tanuki. Smoke, shots being created, no real damage done. Working their way through, the smoke's being refreshed. Walking through though is Icy Dog coming through. KG Molly's trying to clear space. Oh, Demon now working a flank. What is he up to there? Walks on to C for free, like. Right there. Worthless. Zaf gets that first kill onto Sci Fi. And Goku dies to Sci Fi. Nason gets Creeper Zone, but he's really kind of stuck up in here. Uh, on yet. Icy over. gets Moth. Very quickly a two versus four. Mason with his pop. Planted. One enemy remaining. Oh, it's Teleport with Mason. Op versus four. Oh, gets sure. one. Gets one. That's it. Oh, so. the all being saved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Such a close hold. Uh, I would comment on like how that's unfortunate to lose the armor, but honestly, with their economy, it is a okay. I think it's just worth it to guarantee you kill the op. Yeah. Now there's an op down. CS just not looking too great. Only one person buying a rifle moves to kind of hero rifling it. The so rest of the team oh, either buying slick. light or heavy armor. Maybe it looks like it's gonna be sheriffs. Looks like they're gonna go towards so B. It's holding C with an op again this time. You should run. Big D aggression coming in. Attacker Killjoy. Moff holding the same height. Runs into Icy, getting hit by utility. Moff but gets to go before being traded back for Icy. Four versus four. Both smoke players have been eliminated. D immediately gets spotted by the KJ turret. Creeper zone holding. Moff oh. Prisma swings. Chill out. Nade comes. Doesn't know Prisma there. Sees him now. Contact being traded back and forth. Here's the Moondog. Hey, up. Goku gets one onto Icy though. That's a good I've recovered. got your trail. Three versus three though. Zaf with the alt four post plant. Here we come. Here comes that alt. Waiting for it. Spike yes, tap. Here comes that breach alt. Alt ports out. Time ticking, ticking away. <laughs> Zaf gets to Goku. One enemy remaining. Creeper zone gets the sci fi. Mason though gets one on the prisma, but it's just gonna be economic damage. Dies for the money. Two players survive 10th round on the board. Mason showing that he can win his 1v1 in those high stress situations, but it's just not enough. FT just playing pure objective, swinging together, making sure no one can touch that bomb, even if it was a tap. They just went off that tap. They want to make sure no one's going to be defusing. They are going to figure it around. It's been working for them so far. Now it went from a what? An 8 4 half to a 10 8 half. Absolutely. Six rounds in a row for the Tanuki's Mason. Keeping that off. I still think it's probably their best bet. They need to do something to try to make this space harder to contest. Jump spot. Keeps it. Stunned off. Takes that one shot and gets out. Grenade! Demon. Zack is leg. Trying to just gets out of there. Yeah, they has got to stay alive, try to contest sites as best they can. And does have his ult, so that could be. Oh, sci he can catch well, what a shot by Sci Fi on the Charisma. Spawn. Although, still holding these kind of defaults, Icy has gotten pretty deep here on A. Joker, though, still kind of holding. Moffed over there as well. Round kind of slowing down. Spike now headed towards A. Still though, one player holding on seat, taking contact with that opera zone. They should be able to get out of there when they need it, and they do. Oh, Zaf, what a cover to clean up Jigoku. Four versus four now. Holding by the door. Sight now seen here. Bunch for the trailblazing dog. Somebody out. I see. Cleared off by utility, pushing sci-fi away. Sight kind secure, kind of. Should be enough to get the spike down. Left. I see swing though. Mason Jaws hey. gets out. Nades trying to clear space. Um, gets worse and worse as we get into this post plant scenario. That is the no, 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 second no end plant, of the op. No Zaf gets demon. <laughs> Mako gets Zaf. Kills the right a. back. Spike though not yet planted. Only 
10 seconds Ten left. 10 seconds left. Flash out! Versus two. Oh, man. Oh, that's the best play. I have to stick a damage is going to be done. Just a little bit. Keeper zone does survive. Go get him. Two players with Loich. One player with Loich. on both sides. Mason with this off. Ego takes over. See sci fi. They know where. Uh, walk out of the smoke. I see Mason. I see gets sci fi. Seven in a row now. And disregarding the op entirely, just focusing on their rifles. FT, great econ, great rifles, and finally CS calls a timeout for a minute. I CS realizing, it. hey, we've lost seven rounds in a row. We need to change something up right now. They do have two ults online. They have the breach ult. They have the omen ult. Maybe they could use the omen ult for info. Maybe the breach ult to just stall for more time. But it. It, if you're CS right now thinking, hey, we are doing great, we're going to be doing great on defense and just losing round after round after round, you need to change up your game plan. Either the, aggress the, the aggression's not working, maybe you need to play more passive, maybe you need more util on one side, maybe you just need to just have just everyone spread out and only one person aggress just for info. But something needs to change up because from what I've been seeing, either two people have been pushing up together, which is smart, as long as they don't both die, or at least one person doesn't die, it gets the info. Or they just all been stacking on one side during their eco rounds and just trying to get something when they really don't get much. Absolutely. I, I would almost, or I would, I think they did a better job in this last, just most recent round of contesting the sites in more smarter ways, staying alive longer. But given the success they had attacking and how weak their comp is at like true site holds, you could almost argue they should be playing full retake, although they are gearing up for heavy C aggression. But it looks like it'll be met too. Sky is behind him. Breach of Tilt traded the aggression. Storming out for the last side. That is Goku gets one, Moth gets one. Three one back. Three. Hot and heavy start here. I don't know if those guns are I don't know if those guns recoverable. They will be. Their A site is for free, but will be two rifles recovered for our friends over here at Cloud Sus. Sites being planted. Moth works it over just a stinger in hand. Maybe trying to find a little cheeky little kill here. Tree post plant set up. Moth gets one onto Creeper Zone. Six, Six. HP left. Three versus two in this. You take gonna get healed up by Jigoku. Two flashes available. Shadows Smoke's trap. being used. Mace is jamming into that smoke. Lock is third. Prisma gets two. But oh. Mason leans it up. Prisma almost the hero. What a spray transfer. Prisma with that beautiful straight sp spray transfer. Thrifty. I would say the only decision there is just. Moffs being able just to TP on the site there. They didn't even know he's already there yet. And just being able to kill the Creeper Zone. Uh, getting rid of that heal. With a stinger nonetheless versus a bulldog. Just sort of pure panic between the fights right there. And being able just to make it a 2v3. Definitely won them that round. Yeah, absolutely great value from Moth. Uh, and we see CS. Stinger. CS, after that timeout. Finally kind of pulling it together, That's a good you know, spot. it's a rifle round for them. Not great, um, Econ decides to Mason who has 4.45k credits, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Money's still pretty good for Snoopy's default coming out. More of a ceiling, they've just left, they are just playing retake C. Big, uh, uh, <laughs> they're pushing heavy out of A. Ego though, is going to get that pick on Mason on the hold. Mako trades back on Ego though. Smoke's now down for the attackers. Goku and Moth now pushing out two by door. They've really traded sides here, trading places. Damage is done onto Creeper Zone. Four versus four. Now comes the Seekers. Breaking the util. This is a weird post plan based on the way the team is coming back. Sci fi though, versus that reach all coming in. Reach all traded back and forth. Play. Gets one of the traded right back by Mob. Oh, here's KJ. You can go to the lane. Spamming at each other through smoke. Demon's trying to step through. But Icy cleans him up. Demon just gets rid of him. One enemy remaining. Just throws no fake. Jinko is forced off the great util by Zap. One versus two. Zap cleans it up. 12th round on the board.
Smart play by FT there instead of defaulting mound Match or behind, behind the pillar there. They planted for the enemy spawn because they knew they would have to take it. They knew they would have to fight in that space because of the flank kill um, over uh, from Ego there. That was Abs taken from. Absolutely great at a mid round adaptation. Three chances to close it out. Money. <laughs> Desperate for FT, two rifles, a stinger, two st and three stingers. They're gonna need to get the, their thrifty hats on once more. FT though, looking great with ult. That's one ult right there. Cabbage, powering through, fully with side, so they're gonna have to find up potentially. Fire away. I see coming with the rage rocket. You should run. Not okay, but here comes the grenade to follow. Kind of nose there, there. Attacker Killjoy. Great value. Icy is the first onto Mason. Spike planted. Impact by Icy this map. Gonna have to bail out now. Sure, that down. Demon working this flank. Oh, almost catches Zap. Three swing into gets Zap. Great shot. But Charisma. Yeah, Icy though gets two. He goes one. Icy's one. Gets another. Moft gets one. Demon gets another. Last player standing. Creeper cleans it up. It's all on Moft. The rock out. Good by the dog. And he goes. Is it up? Attackers win. One goes to the Tanukis. FT calling it from an 8 4 half to a 13 9 win. Lotus goes to FT. Mark that on the board. FT. Say, maybe it's the Zaf effect, but just a powerful attacking team. Uh, potentially again into this new season. Icy leading the way. 29 14 and 4. A great first game for them. I see just 22 taking assists. <laughs> a lot of smart gunfights or taking a lot of space that allowed him to take smart gunfights, either while was flanking behind somebody while gaining space or just entering in for a side as, as a duelist and, you know, counting on that maybe one person holding it and no one was there. Uh, getting a lot of those, like, C retake sites definitely played in their, um, in their favor. Shout out to Jigoku being 22 assists. The sky, not to be overshadowed. Great support for his team. Great info gatherer, making sure they're healed. Both skies doing great. Moth, honestly, kind of a, a surprise player for me as someone that doesn't know them. Doing, you know, great um, flanks, great uh, space capture. Utility, it's, it's omen utility. Not, not much else you can do besides maybe flashing for your teammates and smoking here and there. That's kind of my thoughts on the matter. Yes, but an impressive debut nonetheless, and you know, really good assist tools all across the FT as they really use their utility very well to enable IC. And uh, that'll be it for an exciting first map. We're going to take a short break coming up, and we will be back for Cloud Sus's map pick, Split. Split.
And welcome back to the Caster Desk. I'm your caster as you follow with my fellow caster striker. Striker, what a first match that was with FT versus CS. Yeah, absolutely. Real classic kind of Lotus map, real attacker sided map, that eight four half. Turning out to be all that the Tanukis needed, winning all but one of their attacking half rounds. To Would take you say them Lotus is more attack heavy or defense heavy? Or I feel like Lotus is very attacker favored. Just mm -hmm. the way this, it's just like the way the sites interact. I think like Haven, the other three site map plays a little more 50 50. There's just something about the way Lotus is constructed that lends itself to the attack power. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely agree. Having that eight eight four half is, is pretty much what you, you want to ask for, especially on the, on the defense. And we saw FG just barreling it down, making sure like, hey, we're not out out of it yet, and just winning round after round after round. I think only losing what one round on the defense. Only one, one, only losing one round on their attack. attack I just right feel back. like compositionally, there just wasn't enough delay, in my opinion, in the cloud sus comp. I think it was very good for attack, and I think they certainly played a well executed attack round. But in the end, it just wasn't enough uh -huh. for them on defense. And now we're heading into split, which has gone i think has maybe shifted more attacker sided than it used to be but it's still i feel like one of the original classic defender sided map and we're back in beta 10-2 was the ideal half i see a chamber again i'm gonna lose my personally speaking this is where you play kj or cypher my friend or even a sage the sage wall in, in mid just controlling all that and stopping the rotates is beautiful a chamber here is not really not great in my opinion uh, chamber like needs cool chamber needs required trap plays mm -hmm. and like it needs some investment and timing which we might not see all right i see locking in that jet might get double duelist comp kind of hear that kind of no sentinels there's there's a no there's these astros though that you wanted there yeah there there are the astros oh there's move on cypher i think cypher this is cypher's map personally speak uh, this is a this very is good cypher map really a lot of good sense one mason cypher. now onto that sky jagoku off the initiator playing a smoke really branching out this season demon running it back on the rays <laughs> see he's a demon at it uh very interested to see maybe a double smoke here maybe a viper astra i think that's, that's hovering that viper viper's so good on this map i think that viper will almost more valued than the sage wall at some point because it makes them take damage when they get through it that decay is very strong. Not to mention, you just put it down on A or B. There's great default walls for both, and just cutting off all that, all that vision is just Jet so raised. powerful. Yep, looking like you know, getting kind of like that old, that kind of champions loud kind of style comp right here. Mm -hmm. it looks like FT opting for no sentinel, but maybe. Maybe the Viper, kind of like a smoke the, sentinel, kind of. The Viper is the smoke sentinel here. Yeah. They have really good delay. You know, Viper can be a controller, but they do have some sentinel-ish qualities to them with those double mollies. Those and mollies will be strong for delays. A lot of those Cypher one-ways can be replicated with the Viper orb as well. That is true. Here we go, loading in. Tanuki's F once again starting on the defense. I'm very interested to see their default setups. I'm very interested to see where like the Viper's gonna put their walls, where the Ashes are initially gonna put their stars. If they're gonna go for an A head, I, I would expect to see like a quick Viper wall. Actually, they're, they don't have Viper. Just uh, two Astra stars, one in heaven, one for ramps, and just hitting the side immediately. Yep. All right. Zaf now setting up that mid wall, but yeah, it is a five man. The bus is coming. A here we go. Initial flash gets ego. Pops that smoke. They're just barreling up. Both demons. Ooh, good suck. Delaying the push. Spamming through is ego. Nade coming out. Boombot destroyed. Damage being traded back. Prisma takes some. Ego as well, getting some initial chip. Still kind of posturing here, mostly holding. Will they rotate out of this? Major rotates are coming. Ego getting just spammed, almost killed through the wall. 
Sci-fi dueling Zaf. Zaf gets Jigoku. First blood to the Tanukis. You go 8 HP in a dream. Demon cleans up Ego. It's healed in the process. All right, pushing through, taking that heaven control. Flan comes out. Sci-Fi gets Prisma. Zafto gets Sci-Fi. I see. On a mission to flank. Oh, they're going through the spawn. They're going to be. I see has a read on it, though. World. I see could catch two here. Oh, but Whiff cleans them up. Big the movement kill. error. Spike coming down. Two players, defenders coming through CT. Three versus two retake for the Tanukis. First contact. Gonna be Moff. Sees the first tapping away. Zaf tapping right back. Zaf getting healed back up. Two versus three. Time ticking away. Last player standing. Demon gets one. Zaf gets their third. Gets their remains. fourth. On for the ace. Do they know that Mason is holding this rat angle? Drops down health. Mason knows where they are. Time getting low. And Mason mm. denies the ace. Secures the round for Cloud Sus. Mason playing it smart there and them not knowing where he is and just holding the bomb, holding the angle just to see if he would get swung and basically winning them that round. Zaf though, great gunplay, great headshots, almost winning them that round, almost getting that first ace of ace of the season. Showing Tally why the they are the reigning MVP. Mason though, smart, patient play. Secure the round. And it looks like FT going sort of just for sheriffs. Yeah, they're willing to come into a light armor buy. Zap also has the money for it. Mafco gets that first pick onto Icy. Nade Prisma trying to buy time. But first pick in favor of Cloud Sus. Trying to barge their way up into B Heaven. Making great space. Double Duel is leading the way. Spang through Jigoku gets one onto Creeper. Sci-Fi trying to push deeper. Prisma. Just trapping everyone. Demons kills them through the cage. Zaf working the flank. Spike planted. Gets cage. Cannot jump it. And Moff's waiting. Ego. One versus five with just a classic. Gonna probably try to just get one here. Holding the corner. Sci-Fi knows. Trying to set the crosshair. Just a way to game time, ticking away. You might just hold this, try to die to spike, get a right click on the way out. That's kind of what I would do. Just try not to just give the, the other team another alt orb. Tick, tick, tick. And it looks like they're content not to kill chase here. Some sheriffs picked up. And uh, Ego's just going to die to the spike. It's the, you know, it's the best gameplay sense. Keep your money. Don't give the other team an alt orb. Flawless round though. Four clouds us right there. So I mean, great anti eco. Uh, unfortunately, not necessarily any rifles going in this round. A lot of SMGs. Uh, now FT having a little gun advantage with Prisma, saying "fuck it, let's just let's 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 get a TikTok clip real quick." And I like a I do like a judge because it allows for the full armor and with so many stingers, that one, oh. that like 127 headshot body body That's combo. Is pretty brutal against that light armor set that some of the FT players up oh, back to the FT rifles. They're a little weak to that stinger. The stinger's a little more dangerous here. Initial space taken up ramp. Scamming away is sci fi. I see. I'm gonna cop this trip. Pushes out. Oh, runs into Moft. Spamming Zaf gets the first onto Demon, though. Oh, Zaf fighting for his life. Ooh, good combo. Util combo just slaughters Mason. Jigoku, though, trades back onto his counterpart. Three versus four. Heaven control in favor of the attackers, but still players on site. Creeper zone. Can you go big here? Gets remaining. one. Prisma gets another. Great spike crossfire. Down. Spike down. CT. A terrible place for the spike to be. Moff. Full HP and a stinger. But a lot to do here. Might just gotta play a little sneaky beaky, but like does kind of want to die. At least. Oh, Nade comes down, gonna tag him a little. Might have given a sound cue if it'd given a big, loud oof. But I don't think so. Trying to get an exit. Can Just enemies hear when he makes sound from damage? I don't remember. Maybe not. Oh, well, you hear him. Alright, working their way up left. through. Trying to get that spike. 
Spike is not being held. Oh, but they will hear that gun get picked up. Doesn't even want the spike. Just wants the gun trying to get out. Take some damage. The hunt is on. Here comes Icy. They smell the blood. Might be just content to keep Ten their four left. rifles. Looks like they're going to be patient. Peeking out. Moth just going back to spawn. I'll meet the team there. Great and play uh, by Moth. <laughs> Just being able to secure the rifle right there, even if they have like the money for it, just being able to carry that gun to the next round is great. Still, still better value. Definitely the play. Got out. Tanuki's smart to not over chase, keeping four guns up, letting their economy begin to build. And now Ego opting for the judge here instead of instead of Prisma. Low money, would... trying to keep their value. I don't, a nice little vanity judge. We like that. Four smokes. Judge, very powerful weapon on this map. Looks like a default coming out. At first flash, sees nothing. Three players, potentially working mid. Oh, during Christmas season, it takes a lot of initial damage. This guy's not exactly close by. They're just going to be able to... Mid control, kind of needing to be seated. Wall comes up, try to make him think. Spike, though. By, ooh, and Ego takes damage on the jump peak as well. Mason is trying to spam him down. Flash reveals nothing on A main. Everyone's just kind of in heaven or playing by screens. Working their way through the wall. Is Demon Icy holding them here? Waiting. Icy and Zaf. Dash popped. Icy pushing through. That takes Recon's. Wins one. Icy swings out. Gets one. But trading back is Moff and Jigoku onto Zaf and Icy. Three versus three. Jump and down. Prisma hears him. Oh, doesn't spam though. Holding, holding. Nade comes out. Good Nade. Oh, Nade just missing. This is really good. Spike down. Three versus three post plant. Jiloku playing an aggressive angle. Still has some stars. Ego though takes that initial contact. Sees sci fi. Trying to pull some util. Prisma. Ego gets one. Trade back though. Creeper zone is, it dies in the process. Two versus two. Mason the plunge right angle. Gets one onto Prisma. Crossfire being played. Gets one. Oh, Ego almost gets the transfer, but Mason cleans it up. Third round now for our attackers. Money. Good. Sorry, just okay. You know, not great for either side. A bit of a mixed buy is going to be coming in. Maybe a couple guardians and some sheriffs for our defenders. Rifles on the board for our attackers, but some of them in a precarious economy. Are we going to see some one-tap demons now? I hope so. Gar we're looking for some guardian gamers. Prisma wants to be one, but he's not. Demon cleans him up. I see picks it up in his head. Oh, he's also not a guardian gamer I know right now. Oh, Cypher all comes out. Big iron on their hip. Demon wins oh. it out onto them. Good op two opening kills from them. Great nade. Pushes back. Creep for them. Gets a little bit of chip in as well. Now Demon deep into defender spawn. Here. Remaining three players coming out heaven. After the wall deploy. Spamming away. Oh, kind of those ones there. But didn't fully commit. I sci-fi swings out. Ego though. Last gets sci-fi. Goku standing. gets Zaf. Mason gets creeper zone. Oh, has to reload. Two oh, HP and a dream versus four. It's brutal. Moff cleans him up. Four Ball flash there. too from a friendly. Beautiful play. Honestly, the cipher all giving is so strong, and I feel like it's so underutilized. Just being able to see where the other enemies are, just see if like if they're even near sight, yeah. and you all just set up uh, towards CT, towards heaven. Uh, just being able to know where they're coming from and stall even longer, even further away, just adds those few delicate seconds that you need for the bomb to go off. Absolutely. Zaf now switching it up a little bit, now playing on B site, looking to use their Viper Util here. Here we go. Bit of a two leaning mid, three now heading towards B. Two players holding mid for the defenders with just Zaf anchoring on the B site. Jeeks potentially here. trying to be made onto A. Jump spotting coming in. Icy with the op. Gets smoked off, kind of gives mid. So three players there. Zaf's going to see the contact. Oh, gets tagged off, takes some damage. Demon just trying to clear, generating so much space. 
Shotgun might not get anyone, but it's generate. It's really giving them the B site for free. Great use of the ult, even without the damage. Ego though gets one onto Sci-Fi. Four versus five. Spike not down yet, but it will be planted here. Mason gets Prism to level up the score. Four versus four into the post plant. Creeper Zone gets moffed. Four versus three now in favor. Here comes the the Sky Alt. Flash gets some. Mason the holding good crossfire gets one onto Creeper Zone. Three versus three now. Ego trades right back. Three versus two. I see Ops to Goku. Oh, Demon is just stuck in the goop. Diffuse coming in, spamming away is Demon, but Zap gets him through the smoke. A good stabilizing round from the Tanuki. Second round on the board. I see showing his skills with that op there. Getting one, just dominating like, hey, I'm here. I'm all right. Give me the op. I can handle it. Especially on a jet. I can just dash away if they miss the shot. It's great. And Kratos already calling an early timeout. Try, trying to either stop the momentum or just recalibrate and figure out what went, went what went wrong that last round and see how they can improve. Absolutely. Maybe they have some thoughts about how to deal with that op that is now in the hands of Icy. Or they just saw something that they were doing wrong. They just wanted to catch that immediately. Honestly, FT did a great job. Especially Demon right there. Sorry, not Demon. Um... No, it was Demon. Not 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 FT. It was cause us a Demon being able to clear out so much with that raise ult. And FT playing it smart and playing retake there because they knew they could not fight that raise ult or they could not afford to lose a person there. Yeah, absolutely. I think the raise ult gets less and less kill as time progresses because everyone kind of knows how to get rid of it. They just, they just have to run away from it. But it is one of the best space creating alts mm -hmm. in the game. It's like a little weird, but it's almost, it's like a killjoy alt in a lot of ways the way people react to it there's kind of a radius you have to respect ft kind of showing their chops on the defense now this again especially with icy on the off there he can hold aggressive a main which is exactly what he's doing making sure like hey we're gonna get a pick and then we're gonna dash away well, set up. No gets initial contact pops his dash Take the first contact, Zyphi gets the first kill, Demon gets Prisma. Icy kind of left alone, Demon gets another. Three quick kills from the Duelist site taken. Two versus five already for the Flaming Tanukis. Keepers on in Zaf with so much work to do in this two versus five post plant. Mason Dieway, they might just be committing to a save right now. Yeah. The question is, will Cloud Sus hunt? For the moment, it looks like they're playing a good discipline post plant. Zaf and Creeper Zone just maybe just trying to find someone who's trying to lurk and find them. Mason's Util definitely showing they're nowhere near the vicinity. Zaf now holding in mail. Be having it being held by Creeper Zone. They're just trying to leave the site. They don't seem that interested in hunting. They'll be happy to take a uh, five person remaining, five people left alive. Honestly, uh, uh, just small things going wrong for that for FT. They're icy, not being able to get a shot on the raise. Um, I believe Prisma kind of going in and also dying to the raise. Uh, the Astra immediately dying right after. Just unfortunate trade. Not even trades, just picks uh, that happened to FT. And Cloud Search just being able to capitalize on that. Smart play on them, but for the save, especially with their econ right now, not looking too hot, especially after their buy. But nonetheless, it could be, they could still bring it back. It's only 2-5. Icy has knives. They're still able to buy this. Rifles on the board. Zaf ripping the Viper all Just fills so much space. Spamming into it. Zaf breaks the camera. Just playing in. Dog coming. Molly to buy some time. Breaks the dog. Jumps out of the smoke. Just right back in. Trying to keep that integrity high. Zaf really delaying for all they are worth. Call to rotate has come out from Cloud Sus. Three players working their way through sewer. One holding spawn. Mason trying to hold attention as long as he can. And now rotating back down through. Zaf really just saying A site is mine. Go somewhere else. Icy with the knives takes that first contact mid. Flash comes out, gets one. Icy gets one with the knives. Four versus five. 
I see. Dash deployed. Might take a swing here over the wall. Kind of blocks him. Dash going to expire shortly. Let's just die. Doesn't do the weird jet jump forward thing. Ooh. Takes some damage. 70 HP. Creepers on trying to flash for him. Smoke being used. Oh, there's just a pullback. Good oh. mage. And Goku gets the kill to That's level it out. Crazy. Four versus four. Low HP though on Mason, who did take some damage. Can't heal himself, unfortunately, Prisma. And he's around the corner. Oh, caught mid reload. But Sci Fi trades right back. Ego trying to buy Zoom more it. time. 10 seconds, Ten left. seconds left. Oh, sees one. Great Last play using the smoke. Standing. It's all on Sci Fi. Dashes through, feet. dashes back. Four seconds, round one. Just need to live. But Ego wants that I kill. Was. He'll get around, but Moth gets the kill for their troubles. The third round on the board for the Tanukis. Honestly, a great play by Jugoku right there for doing the fake smoke. Having Icy think he's safe and he push up, but then only like, what, a second or two later for it to disappear. Being bamboozled there. Honestly, just not necessarily winning the round, just a great, just a great play in general. Great util usage, but great alt usage from the Tanukis investing the jet knives and the Viper's Pit, but coming away with the round win. Icy back with the op in hand, will be challenging down A, which is where they are. Mason, the already position, kind of a little bit late, getting spammed. Needs some util support here of some variety. Gets util themselves. Oh, they're getting bullied. Forced off the angle though. Zap, Guardian Gamer gets three. He gets what three. What from Ego. Guardian Gamer, Prisma jumping on through. That might be a little aggressive. Throws the nade. Can Goku kind of holding? Prisma has that judge. Mason and Goku trying to get some picks here. Kind of defending the guns. Prisma trying to peek out for them. Goku gets Prisma. Four versus two. Rest of them do have longer range weapons. Probably will not be pushing as much as way. Shigoku though still controls the spike. Mason potentially trying to flash, but the op is holding them here. Could be trying to pop flash. Oh, misses the oop. Happened. Both shots being missed. Mason though gets zapped. Three versus two. Numbers starting to go back in their favor. Icy though gets Shigoku. Gets Mason. Icy with the redemption there. Finally landed some off shots. Good job, Icy. Honestly, beautiful play by both Ego and Zaf. You know, Zaf getting one, seeing seeing that raise and calling for, or potentially calling for that uh, suck uh, down and a main and getting two extra. Just kind of for free. Beautiful tracking, beautiful headshots. Those, all three of them are at least the, after the raise kill or one taps, which are just, just great aim. Absolutely. All right, Icy Pitch can take a dual way. mid, but they're all just ready to barnstorm B, which is they might be playing retake for. This dog's not going to really see much. Just some contact from Creeper Zone. Heaven, Demon Blast packing through. This wall, though, kind of denying Icy the ability to peek mid. But coming back, Heaven. Smoked off, though. Prisma drops down into hell. They kind of know he's there. Mason gets Prisma. Four versus five. Spike not down yet, though. Trying to get it down. Oh, Mason. Pushed off a little. Zaf with some. Still, but Moth holding mid. Has an Ego, but Ego wins it out. Four versus four into the retake. Mason got his little position. Hell, trying to get some value out of this. At least get one. Knives out. Icy sees him. Mason gets him. Uh, flash up the rope into the nether. Two tries to get out. Reposition. Mason gets a third. Ego gets one onto Demon. Two versus three. Mason for one HP. Uh, a lot of work here for him. Sci-Fi gets flashed, Mason gets their fourth, Jigoku takes the ace. Icy pushing up there with the AWP and just seeing him at the last second was very unfortunate and kind of ruined the, the space they could have created while for, for the team just getting in there. An unfortunate misplay, but still a great play by Cloud Sus there, capitalizing on the mistakes of FT. Yeah, really great micro repositioning by Mason to get to help him get those four kills. All right, four six now in favor of the attackers. Mixed by Guardian, Vandal, Shorty, Two ults on Sheriff, the board. Ghost. I see takes for six, but initial duel gets out. You go just playing, just hope, hoping someone walks through. Oh, look at this the Shorty. Mason might oblige. Oh boy. Oh, but they see smoke deployed. They're trying to flash him. 
They do. Oh. Mason gets the first kill. Great combo util to not get smoked by the shorty. Moving through, Mason kind of sees someone there. Maybe caught Prisma. Joku jumping down, trying to give pursuit. Joku gets icy. That's the gun down. I know exactly. Oh, Prisma, what a shot on the demon. Gonna pick up a time of their own. Oh, Creeper's own. With the ghost versus four. That's rough. Just has to try to live another day. It's pinged. Spike being planted He's now triggered. for the attackers. Four Spike versus planted. three. Numbers advantage and gun advantage. Person has this rifle, but he's so far away. Holding on sight. This might be his time to just die into the spike or see what you can do. Maybe two rounds left in the half group zone. Just gets flashed by Mason. Time ticking, ticking away. Zaf trying to make something happen. Has this vandal in hand. Oh, but Jagoku gets Zaf. Great swing. Mason gets fed, knows he's there, tapping away, but it's just a ghost. Just isn't enough firepower. They jump down to swing him. Here comes Sci-Fi. Oh, crap. maybe. Oh, Creeper's on gets him. All right, that. Oh, good gun. Get out. I don't think Creeper's on. I don't think can get out from this. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh. Well, we got a kill for their troubles. Yeah, got got a little bit of the ult orb and maybe Prisma at least kept one gun. Seven four. Uh, FT, honestly, best scenario, making it, making it 7-5. We've seen their aggression here. Even if Split's a little bit more defender-sided, in my opinion, I, I believe FT can kind of overcome that, especially with like how they, their play style is. Absolutely, and just the team comms, a little more attacker-favored. Seems to be the the, the, the like the cloud stuff likes to play. But we'll see if they have some special defensive sets cooked up for this map. Here. As they try to take us to map three, I see taking this initial duel. Three players go working B. One player mid. I see coming back after an initial foray into A. Two holding mid now. I see anchoring B, Prisma anchoring A with Zap. Mid players should have decent control. See what they see. Sci fi taking that to contact, holding a good angle. Here comes the dog trying to force him out. Got. Jeff Dash is being triggered by both. Oh, great stun. Sci-Fi gets Icy Demon just holding this rocket. Wishing someone would push him. Launches it up. Gets some damage onto Ego. He will now die to three body shots. Oh, you trade back and forth. Creeper onto Mason, but Sci-Fi trades right back. Demon gets Ego. Two versus four. Zaf, though, gets Demon. Zaf looking to go huge with Prisma here. All three just behind here. Pillar. Last player standing. Sci-Fi gets another one. Zaf gets Sci-Fi, but Jigoku trades right back. Another 8-4 attacking half from Cloud Switching Sus sides. Gaming. We'll need to see another. If the Sanukis wish to want to close this out in two, we're going to need to see another very strong attack from them. I would love to see CS's uh, defense here. We see a Cypher instead of... Not really setting up, just maybe just kind of moving around. Maybe we're going to try to defend mid. Uh, an interesting camera over here looking like trying, yeah, trying to defend more mid instead of east side and trying to get all that area. Uh, no tripwire set down just yet. Nope, there goes one right here. Um, interesting cypher gameplay I'm seeing so far. Usually with your sentinel, you want to just put down all your, 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 you know, your uh, stall util and hold an angle. This one seems to be a little bit more different. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Maybe just try not to show what they want, what the fluid they have on a pistol round. Might be trying to save some uh, some lineups. Mason working, playing aggressively off Zaf's wall. Gonna pop flash through, gets Zaf. Zaf can't fully turn it. Oh, but what a flick! It's two! He's a pistol round demon. Three versus five. Demon, though, on the end. That's Ego, dueling with Ego. Get the worst of it though. Amato gets ego on the back. I see jumps jumps forward, gets demon. Amato chasing him down. I see cleans him up. It's all down to sci-fi with the sheriff against four. A sight very free. But I hear the jump. Zap knows. Nade comes to push him off. Oh, immediately chunks their health down to 40. Low HP, very difficult for Sci-Fi. Great player, but this might be too much to overcome. Zaf, bloodthirsty. Oh, sees him, tags him through the wall. Looks for the five. Sci-Fi gets him. Get two. two. What a sh 
pair of shots. Still probably too little too late. But building the bank for tomorrow. A kill gotten is a dollar earned. He's just trying to... Oh, they're in a creeper zone. Can they make it three? And HP gets flashed. Swings into it anyway. Trying to inflict more damage. Time taking down, but creeper zone finishes it off. Pistol rounds now traded back and forth on both maps. I want to congratulate FG on winning that round, but they kind of played a little bad, to be honest. Especially giving Sci-Fi two 1v1s on a pistol round. It's not ideal. It's still great that they won the round, but... This goes for anybody. Never take one v ones if you can help it, especially if the numbers vanish. It, it went from four to one to two, two to one. If they misplayed maybe one or two locations poorly, they could have lost that round easily. Yeah, it was an excellent initial take. They got the site down really well, but you know, and then they got that one v four, and the blood gets up. But that is what it is. But they didn't. They still managed to recover the round. All right, here comes. The utility being used while two players working up May. Demon gonna be the one to take contact. Ego swings in with that Spectre, just sprays him down. May clearing out back site. Prisma jumping in. Shorty! Collected. Sci fi gets that Spectre. Creeper Zone can't trade back. Four versus four. Icy, though, has worked their way up into the heaven. Flash coming, Jigoku. Also working on this could be a big flank for Jigoku. Gets it. I see. That's two people one gonna be pressuring him remaining. from heaven. There's no one. Great shooting from Creeper Zone. Guardian gamers are the flaming Tanukis. Tapping away with Guardians in that wall pad. Jigoku that cleans him up with a bulldog. Three oh, players survive, and it's two guardians and a bulldog being taken into the bonus round. Great gunplay from each each team. Honestly, CS almost got that. If you know, step top, uh, I believe it was Mason Jiroku collapsing on Ego. Uh, Mason flashed out and just set it up. So at least if he got traded out, uh, Jiroku would be able to trade him out. Just those small little trap plays at the moment there. is what is going to make or break uh, teams this season. And even though they lost that round, it's still wow, a great job in that trap. Really like to see that execution. All right, here we go. We have an A lean, no real defaults. Four players leaning A. Flash, though, blocked by the wall. Does Mason know? No, he's kind of walking away. Oh, he's coming back, though. Yeah, he's going to find Icy. Oh, he sees the he's gun gone. of Prisma. Gets Prisma, who has the Bucky. But Icy trades back. The tag done just enough. Creeper, what a shot onto Jigoku. Demon lurking, creeping around. Three versus four. Spike probably about to go down onto A. Retake being established now. By Cloud Sus. Coming up to Heaven. Spike planted. All three players taking retaking Heaven Control. Get that I'm cam down. Oh, I'm Creepers, oh, what a shot onto Sci Fi. Guardian Gaming. Demon though, gonna see icy. Oh, what a spray! Two versus two. Moff taking damage. Oh, this is a good nade from Demon. Gets Zaf. Creeper zone gets Moff. One versus one. Here comes the Treevers. Twelve bullets, five bullets, down to a pistol. Tick, 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 tick. Creeper zone, two flashes. And dog, a lot of utility here to help him. Demon gonna try to stick this to half. Uh, tapping. Oh, time getting low. Right click. Unfortunate. Great round from a demon to salvage their rifle round and prevent the Tanukis from winning that bonus, but a costly bonus round win for Cloud Sus. Killing two of them from ramp, uh, or then we're not really, when he was from ramp, and then getting just even more halving that. He played that really well. Absolutely stuck for the half. Potentially, you could have seen more, a little more sky util be used, but you don't want to get caught with the util out. So I definitely yeah. understand the decision making. Just a bit of a rifle versus phantom at Cl Guardian versus Santa Force. Initial flash coming on from Mason. Does get three, but they're tapping away. Jump peek from Sci Fi. No shots traded, but no damage. Sci Fi really wants that orb. Trying to get those knives online. But they know, and they're really trying to fight for these orbs this round. Zap collects it. 
Viper ult now online. Icy takes some initial contact from Jigoku. The two rifles, though, are the ones fighting mid. And Jigoku gets Icy big first pick. Rifle. Good. Zap. Go. Demon and Prisma trading shots. Going a little bit in favor of Prisma there. Jigoku just kind of getting mollied off, but both volleys now have been invested. 50 seconds left now on the clock. Four versus five in favor of the defenders. Mason flashing again, really keep that intel up. Nade comes through. Dog oh, Creepers are taking even more damage. Ego trying to sneak up. Oh, Jigoku sees him, wins it out. Great kills from Jigoku. Three versus five. Dog just, no, gets cleaned up by Mason. Prime and Zath will get two. It's quickly three versus three. Mason needs to go huge with the classic. Right click for Glory, but Zaf gets him. Three Welcome versus two. Viper alt hit being Fight expended. Planted. Trying to get this round. It is important. Jigoku gets a third onto Creeper Zone. Two versus two. But the Viper pit is down. This is a tough retake. Pops out for a minute. Does Prisma get some damage onto Jigoku. Oh, but Zaf is hiding in a really sneaky little place here. One enemy gets one. That's their third. Jigoku. Working through the decay. Zaf sees him. Zaf Ooh. four for Zaf. Having a very impactful game. Both smoke players. Top of the leaderboard for each team. Great Seven, play nine. by great play by FT there of you know hitting a site and then waiting and then re-hitting a site right there. And so just rotating all the way to A, which I believe CloudSus was kind of predicting them to do. CloudSus, like a little bit of an over-rotation, a holding middle a little bit, but just not winning some gunfights, maybe getting a, a, a tricky kill here and there, but that ship damage coming from FT was just enough, especially with the Viper ults, bringing people down to zero, or at least one HP. Absolutely. Oh, it's an anime jet knives battle potentially on the cards, though, but mostly an eco round for our cloud sus gamers. They'll try to make this expensive, maybe get a thrifty Mason pushing deep, runs into Creeper. Just takes some shot, runs away. Shigoku, classic in hand. Demon, though, gets Creeper. That big iron on their hip. Shigoku, though, forced out down into ramp. Heaven Control has now been established. Plant most likely coming on A. Moth, though, is kind of hiding. But Ego gets Shigoku in the end. Moth gets cleaned by Icy. Nice knives. Three versus four. Spike going down. Post plant scenario, one rifle though in the hand of Demon. Stinger, a classic. And that one rifle with the knives available. We're talking about Elo waiting on the ramp. You can't use the knives on the ramp. Ego gets their third. Macy gets cleaned up by Zaf. Great run by FT, shutting down the eco round by Cloud Sess right there. Unfortunately for sci-fi, the knives are not enough. You cannot use those knives on the ramp. He was probably spam clicking there thinking, why can't I shoot? And then just realizing, oh, right, I'm still on ropes. Absolutely. Well, FT looking pretty healthy with their econ, especially with Ego with 6k. You know, Ego, those stars kind of cost a lot. Uh, so actually now he's down to 3k. Yeah, I bought Zaf to keep the money a little more evenly distributed. Good economic balance. Uh, so it's really kind of needing this round to stabilize. Otherwise, it's likely to go 10-9 if they lose this round. So, of course, on yet another Ego. Ego. Prisma gets two. What a spray onto Mason and Sci-Fi. Demon trading back and forth with Zaf. Jigoku. Oh. Gets one. Sees the stick. Gets two spraying. Levels it back up onto three. Great. Dancing in the smoke is Jigoku. KO one trick no more. Plant though going down on B. Zaf rotating. Probably has some lineups. Prisma getting healed. Three versus three. Oh, here comes Moth with that cipher all letting him know where they are. They're all just kind of living in heaven. Oh, here comes oh. Oh, just misses the forces them out, but Zaf swings. Wall coming up. Zap has so much util for him. Here comes another raise. Creeper Zone gets two. Prisma cleans up with the third. Nine, nine. 
creepers are really just protecting their rays right there just to make sure that you can get that ult off to make sure they don't even get half down beautiful you two users and um cs calling their second time out uh, of the game trying to figure out what they need to change up a little bit yeah making a nine nine half uh i believe ft again showing their domination only one round being one for CS, if I'm, if I'm remembering Yes, correct. they just won that initial rifle round, and it cost them everything to do so. And they've just been on the economic back foot after that, with every every rifle round loss resetting them back to a full, to a pretty hefty eco. And they'll so need to find some adjustments. They've tried adjustments in Lotus as well of just trying to five man and they yeah, as we saw in that last game, they just got mowed down. Uh, they just I think they need to get some better reads. They need to figure out exactly where they need to hold default, especially with their rifles. It's they have a bad habit of holding Stinger, Spectre, stuff like that. Very long angles when they're not suited for those. They're playing SMGs like rifles. Yeah, it's that's not that stinger anymore. But these rounds have been closer than they were in the other, than they were in our Lotus, their Lotus defensive half. So I think they just need a few things to break their way. These have been close. All right. Econ allows for two, a rifle and three singers and a sheriff. Against full rifles. Money still really good for FT. Defaulting and playing, trying to play these kind of corner combo sets. On A, but no one's there. Dog clearing A. They're just kind of going to play retake on A. Mato, with that no armor rifle, just trying to get something done there from range. Get some, get some trip damage. Little. Chigoku just needs to play. Needs to get value out of this stinger. Don't need to swing into this. Just, oh, kind of overswing with these stingers. Ego and Prisma gets one gun piece. Icy gets clean, but they break the trip quickly. Mato gets three! Icy Spike gets off. Sci-Fi gets a fourth on. It's the fourth kill round onto Icy. Ego versus three. Rifles slowly, hopefully, being recovered into the hands of the defenders. Spike down, top of heaven. Mafalo HP. Hero rifled with no armor. Oh, tapping away, battling. Animation oh. cleans it up. Big His gun. Around. His gun covering up that right side. That's so unfortunate. Moth with a hero rifle. Rifle no armor. Gets three massive kills there from screens. Moth definitely being the MVP there. Just holding down A main and just hoping, yeah, they're going to push here eventually, right? You guys, you did, ooh, sorry. Uh, my teammates are definitely going to hold heaven while they are forced to come out on a site. And I, this is where I'll shine. And shine he did. All right, 9 10. Money's still pretty good. Oh, yeah, I forgot to buy armor. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but money's still reasonably okay for FT. Money's still kind of on a knife edge, but sci fi pretty rich. Spamming shots back and forth mid. Util being traded. Icy gets flashed. Here comes the Sky Alt. Revealing where they are. We already knew they were mid. Icy though jumps on Jagoku. Prisma battling. Ray's fight. Demon wins it out, spamming each other through the smokes. Um, seeing some get spammed out. away. Spamming at, staff spamming at him. Staff taking some damage. Ego though, works their way onto site, breaks it. Two players back here in screens, having control in the favor of FT. Ego gets slaughtered by Mason. Creeper zone gets wall banked. Two versus four. Zaf, though, deadly in these post -man scenarios. But Icy dies. Zaf gets one. Oh, cannot get the second moth. Cleans it up. Round 11 now on the board for Cloud Sauce. The timeout seemed to have the sauce they needed. Might be time for that FT timeout. Ooh, yeah, we haven't seen an FT timeout this this, this uh, match yet. I would love to see them reset their mental a little bit, figure out what they need to change, because whatever whatever Mason said to them, whatever they talked about in the CS timeout, they're on fire now. Yep, does benefit their coach Vi did join them. Was able to make it for this second map. Maybe he's got some insights, some that, that bird's eye view 
and able to help them make the adjustments they needed to their defense this time, trying to take us to a map three. Which whatever team wins this round definitely is going to have the, the econ advantage. A bit of an eco swing round point. this could be. Creeper zone and IC taking some initial contact. Wall is going to let them cross. Five manning A, really just relying on Moff's ability to try to hold all of this. My camera is destroyed. Rotate's starting to come in, but really just a lot of space surrendered here by Cloud Sus. Icy gets the first one onto Mason. Makes a lot of damage in turn. Moff still just hiding here in screens. More people coming in, potentially through rope. Jagoku comes out. Rope. Just misses it. Creepers on though holding. Trying to play a nice little lurk here. There's they're aware of it. Demon gets it. Takes a lot of damage in return, but four versus four. One player on low HP for each side. Zaf using his util wisely. Moff spraying and swinging through. Demon gets a great hit onto Izzy. Jigoku gets One Ego. Moff gets Prisma. It's all onto Zaf, who gets two, but is cleaned up by Moff. Round 12 now on. Going to be on the board for our defenders. Three chances to take us to map three. Clowns is really looking really looking good here. Econ way better. Uh but still FT, they can afford rifles. They can still bring it through here. The the scariest thing here being that Cypher ult, and if Demon gets an ult orb, that raise ult. It looks like FT calling a timeout, trying to regain the mental and figure out what they can do just to stall to get into overtime right now. Yeah, absolutely. They need to make a couple adjustments. They're still getting sight, but they are really struggling to deal with this retake that is coming out from uh, Cloud Sus, which kind of makes sense. They're really strong. They're strong attacking half smooth. They just realized maybe if you let them plant, defending becomes attacking for the time limit. But Big brain. maybe that's the mentality they need. It'll be interesting. Sci-Fi pulling out the operator here. Like how first time this will be seen on this map by... Uh, Tanuki, so we interesting to see how they deal with that. A very slim margin for error. I'd love to... I'm, I'm really liking um, Moff's Sentinel plays here, especially on A. He's been the main reason, like, they have not been able to get onto A, or if they do get onto A, they, like, are down numbers, at least. An impressive performance by the super sub Moff. All right, tie out over. The bar's about to drop. Sci-Fi and Mason comboing a flash play to get this op online. They're really going into a flash right back, forcing Sci-Fi off his angle. He's going to take a short angle duel, tries to get it elevated with the op, dashes through, does icy, made it off, getting util. Yeah, the op just util off every angle Sci-Fi tried to hold. Spike is going to be planted. We're into a five versus five Spike post plan. I brought. Oh, op though. Sci fi gets eagles. He pushes through. Here comes the Viper ult, making this a little tougher. Icy jumps through, gets two. Moth though trades right back onto Icy. Three versus three. But Zaf though is in his little pit. But the Cypher ult really used to trying to force them out. Here we go. Who gets Prisma? Two versus three. Zaf can need to go huge. First team once again. We'll see Shigoku. Steps through, gets one. one enemy Grabs the gun for the extra ammo. Two versus one. Creeper zone gets Mason. Tenth round on the board for the Tanukis. Two chance to remain for Cloud Sus Gaming. They, they're still alive. They're still on the board. But Cloud Sus having those two ults, the Ray's ult and the Astro Wall. Scary things to even plant or even fight for post planned with. If they can get one or two people just off with each of those ults, I would say it's this Cloud Sus's game. We'll be going to a map three, but we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. Alt economy now favoring oh, this is a nice the spot. defenders that Astral and Raze ult. Get out of my way! Nice pop by SC Prisma. Blast packing through, but Demon wins it out. 8 HP left, but Creepers on immediately trades it back. Four versus four. Rotate potentially coming in, but they might just be coming back. The rotate that was really aggressively shoved onto A. Three players on A. Flash catches no one. Sci-Fi with that op again, just kind of holding B. Rotating back now. Noise has been cut efficiently. 
just Moff playing offsite again, but these offsite retakes have been really strong for them on this A site. I see working their way up into heaven. Zaf in support. Zaf though has the spike. Kind of needs to get on site. Cam just being watched though. Moff waiting. He's going to see Creeper Zone. Pretty soon they see that this is going to reveal it. Jake's kind of up. Working their way and sees the gun barrel. Moff going to need to go big. Once again on the site for working their way on the site. Trying to mix up their positioning. I really like this. Collapse coming in with one player also flanking in from. But Jigoku gets Creeper Zone. Icy though trades back. Three versus left. three. Spike not yet down. Mason though has this big flag. Moth though gets Zaf. Two versus two. 20 eight. seconds left. Last two players are heaven. Here comes the jet knives. Trying to get back through. Mason flashing on through. Gets Ego with it. Sci Fi still pushing with this op. Has a flank. Cleans it up. Icy gets one. 10 seconds, Ten seconds left. left, so little time. Jet Knives battle occurring a little. Limited Knives back. Gets one. Five seconds left. Mason just needs to live. And Mason will live. And we're going to see a map three. A tightly contested split goes the way of Cloud Sus Gaming. Kind of, kind of an anticlimactic and still the right play nonetheless, but kind of anticlimactic, wouldn't you agree? I was kind of having the match time would kind of run down. Uh, I see doing a great job there with the knives, almost getting a 1v3. Uh, almost both got teams that just 1v3. Playing, but well, both teams time... playing to their strengths right there. Yeah, absolutely. But as soon as that time got low, you just know Mason's entire comm set was live. <laughs> <laughs> they were screaming, do not take the fight, which again is the right call right there. Honestly, yep. Zaf just showing uh, how strong he is from last season. Uh, well, there was like two 4Ks he did. No aces two. in this match, unfortunately. But still, two 4Ks from him. Two 4Ks. Really Top fragging on the Viper. Five first bloods. Four plants. Tried to do it all, but just not enough in the end. As Jigoku and Mason carry the day for their team. So we're looking to our map three of Ascent. With, and again, and, FT on defense, as they, they love it so much, apparently. Yep. It'll be interesting, as both these teams have been very attack-focused, even on defender-sided maps. And Ascent is another classically defender-sided map. And so after this upcoming break, we'll see, will the attacking trend continue in this match?
Guys, gals, and nine non-binary pals, what a first match it is. CS winning their map pick uh, for split 13-10. Not necessarily an upset, really close for both teams. We're gonna go home, we're gonna go, go not gonna go, we're gonna go into map three of Ascent. Any comments you have, Striker? For me, I mean, it's a paper map. It's I mean, Ascent, I feel like it's such a, it's the map that's like, can you play fundamentally sound? Valorant, and if you can, you will succeed on this map. Uh, you know, there are some interesting strategies that can pull out, but yeah, for the most part, it's very fleshed out agent comps. We'll see if they stick with these kind of default meta sets, or will they have something interesting to bring to the table? I'd love to see a deadlock here. I think deadlock is so, so good on a set. You know, it'll be interesting to see. This is really KJ's playground. It is, it's, it's, there's a, it's a very good KJ map with their alt, their util, for both lane, for just a generator, both sites, in, even mid, if someone pushes up mid, you can control that pretty well. Uh, Absolutely. And, and it looks like we're slowly going to go into the map of Ascent, uh, just in a few moments here. Absolutely. Have you a, a fitting conclusion to our first week? two tightly contested maps ascent also a little more considered a defensive sided map but both teams have really succeeded on their attacks and we'll have to see will that trend continue or will the defense finally take the day it looks like we're, we're going into agent pick right now hit it all right oh my god i did it it was magic all right, I see immediately locks in the jet. Classic jet max Zaf hovering. Classic jet main. Hovering. This is a very this <laughs> sci fi is... over the jet. Classic jet mage right here. This is the map. Jengoku really loves to hover omen for those of you who watched season three. The man He's loves to hover omen. He's sorry, yeah, he loves to hover Yaru. He does this every match. He's going to pick KO because he, he better is, pick KO. Is, this is like this is the map KO. I see him pop off on KO every single map. If this... he doesn't do it, I'm gonna be upset. The viewers are gonna be upset. I'll be upset for the viewers. I'll become the viewers upset. All right. Like manifested. We there. are careening to the Meta Mira match. This lock is over. <laughs> this lock. We all know it's it's, it's a Mira match here. Unless you wanna you wanna be fancy and you go Brim. Not Brim. Sorry. Breach. I'd love to see a breach here. No, you need you need the intel the Sova provides. Fade exactly is the only that. other potential option here, but I still think Sova is just. Bad. I feel like Fade lineups are just way harder, and uh, just with Sova here, there's just so many nooks and crannies you can bounce off of or go through. Absol absolutely, absolutely, so much better. Fade is just the only vague substance that you have comparatively. Milking the time down. All righty then. Mirror comp, mirror comp, mirror comp. I'm interested to see Mason on the Killjoy, especially they they definitely seem like the flanker type, as we've seen in both previous matches. If you want to like rewatch the VODs or anything like that. At the same time, Mason as a player is very aggressive and likes taking on the one v ones instead of just listening for that information. Uh, so I'd like to see how they're going to incorporate this into a Killjoy setup, where ideally you do want to play a little bit more passive and kind of wait for your team. You want to play stall here. Absolutely. All little, right. Little humor for the audience. Uh, I'm also we're, we as casters also watch the match, uh, and my auto clipping software just uh, just clips something from this game. <laughs> All right. Mason setting up to solo hold B. Not Mason. Sorry. Wow. Zaf setting up to solo B. The KJ. You know it's the cool. solo B hold. Real classic KJ attack. It looks like though an A hit. I do love a pistol A hit because the KJ is always B until they're not, and then I don't like that. But I, they're always B. Trust me, KJ is always B. Here, Mason taking first contact, <laughs> hiding from the arrow. All of them. <laughs> this is already a funny match. All right, they hear the orb getting taken, trying to feed orbs to Jigoku. That KO alt is very powerful. Ego though playing dice. Prisma takes that first contact. Encounters sci-fi. Drone coming in. Smoke coming in. Jet dashing onto the gen area. Pushing up. Trying to take this fight. Dice. Sees Ego. Sci-fi gets that first pick onto Ego. Someone damage dealt. But still, four versus five. Zapdo gets one. 
Sci fi trades back onto eight. Zeph. Three versus four. The shock arrow killer. Spike going down. Prisley out. gets one. Prisley gets two. Icy gets one as well. Two. Spike. One versus three. On on Mason, but Creep Zone cleans it up. Great work by DC to quickly turn the round back to FT's favor as they win the first pistol. Honestly, what what really got the numbers advantage there was the shock arrow kill. That just happened during all of that madness there. It was Absolutely. it just came out of nowhere. Great util use and swing with it for For him. Alright. Looking like Aries paper map joke insert here. Guardian. Spectre Marshall Spectre. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to see one wall bank kill. Down, a big guardian gamer. Love a guardian gamer. Knife comes in. Doesn't get broken by demon. Suppress. Let's know where they are. Mid flood coming though. Demon takes that first contact against creeper, but they're already up on creeper. Do they know? Creeper could be running into a heap of trouble with just that guardian against mass numbered pistols. Creeper though gets the first. Cannot get the second. Prisma though gets demon. So on Silva Violence, Ego spraying away, spraying, spraying, gets sci-fi. Two players left, nine HP left on Mason. They're gonna be able to get Spike down here, hopefully, but Zap is on remaining. the flank. Ego gets Mason. Mott, one versus Spike four. Planted. Not much to their name, Zap cleans him up. Easy for this round. Orb onto Icy, Guardian better. acquired. Clean. Guardian gamers. Clean anti-Eco. Only losing one will take a pretty reasonable bonus into the next round. Honestly, Ego just spraying and praying and moving with a Spectre. I, I feel like with Spectre and Singer, those are the ways you want to do it. You don't, you, obviously, you still want to aim for headshots if you can, but if you're close, just spray and pray. Just, just spray him down. Uh, especially against pistols. Especially against pistols. If you're going against a classic with a Spectre, just, just spray him yeah. down. Worst they could do is double headshot you, and then you just kind of feel disgrace for the rest of the day. But you can you can get over it. The right click comes for us all. All right, here we go. First rifle round, looking like a B hit for the first time. But the Aries could be here lurking. Tur oh, the util comes out. Oh. Here comes the Aries. Hammering away a little, just a little bit of damage. They mostly dodged it. Prisma. Great chip damage. Good chip damage. Reaper's on holding. Oh, what a shot. What that. a shot. Oh, that Marshall. Oh, jump peeks it again into another. I see contesting mid as well. Oh, tagged is the I see going to get aggressive. Jet dashes though. Spamming back. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, cannot oh. escape. Reaper's gets a second though. Mont and Demon though. Collect two mid in the process. Oh, Demon doesn't get scared for that. Three versus three. Who Zaf avoids it playing this tight angle guardian gamer. Zaf's a guardian gamer. Seize Demon's gun. Seize the gun. Oh, a little bit of a miss there. Guardian gamer. Copium Ego though gets. Oh, cannot get second. Jigo cleans up two versus two. Spike down A side. Creeper zone collects their third onto Demon with that. Marshall. Rifles will be able to be gotten, hopefully. No, Creeper zone still just has that Marshall, but he's got three with it already. A KO differential? Yeah, differential to Goku. You need to go huge. But does 4K! not. 4K! Creeper's all going. Oh. oh. A little bit on the floor right there. Creeper's all going amazing with the Marshall on their bonus round. Getting a 4K okay. with it. Getting his ult as well from this as well from My the defuse. What a so great can. round for him specifically. All right. Great. Bonus round. The defense finally starting to maybe reign supreme. Light buy most likely coming out. Money's not terrible actually. They'll have a pretty reasonable light buy. Will cloud sus. You see what I see? I, I see, see. I see. A, I see. Uh, I see <laughs> with an operator. <laughs> an operator and a woden. How to make your ranked lobby very upset with you? They just want one taps and wall bank kills, and I'm here for it. Load and go burr. Alright, Ego now working his way into wine. Good initial position off the one way. Although mostly mid default coming out now for Cloud Sus. Three players now working up mid. Mid 
not really being contested, but is held by the cage turret. Oh, Jiku just cages some strays from Zaf. Moth, though, also still holding. Working their way up by Cubby. Pushing into the Odin, but Jigoku Whoa. gets a good shock dart as well. Ego gets Mason playing up top. Three versus four. Icy gets out. They're being pressured mid. Still haven't popped that cage turret. Creeper Zone has a good flank angle here, potentially. Zaf spraying down on through. Zaf playing really close to the smoke. Jigoku trying to poke through. Here's the steps. He's one. Gets two, but Jigoku cleans up Zaf. Jigoku low, though. Creeper Zone finishes him off. Four rounds in a row now for the Tanukis. Zaf with the big gun energy. Hearing two people in front of him and thinking, you know what, I'll just take him. And just goes in, kills two of them, gets traded out. But his team cleans up for him. Just insane plays from both teams. Really, and kind of hilarious, to be honest. And they still get to keep the op from last round into there. Both teams now both on a rifle out. Pr Prisma, you know, just wanting the Woden again. And it looks like they're, they're trying to go for some... Possibly some... um. Wall bang kills here. So potentially, I see playing this aggressive op onto A main. Dart broken. Four players A main, one holding mid. Dart comes in, is going to reveal Icy. Still has the op, still ready to take a fight. Still just holding this angle tight, holding for the up top. Molly comes in. Ooh, kind of a cute Molly, but oh, Jingoku's up top. Being held, people are getting across. Molly's coming out, clearing wine. Icy just, discretion is the better part of Valor. Two players now working their way up through Cubby. It's Sci-Fi and Demon about to run into Ego here. Oh, Ego hears it. Swings. Cannot collect. Getting double swing now. He's revealed. Demon gets that first pick of the map. Icy though trades right back onto Demon with the op. Trying to move over sight as people are working down through A-Main. Dodges that flash. Gets a headshot onto Jigoku. But Nason is pushing up aggressively. Finishes Icy. The Zap trades back. Prisma Spraying with the Odin. Creeper Zone sees Moft, gets Moft. It's all on Mason. Oh, gets banged through the wall. Woden go burp. The Woden just tripping his head at the end because of all the damage he did previously to that KJ. Just finishing it off. If you're that KJ, you must be upset right now. Absolutely. A 5-0 half for FT already. If I, <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised no timeout has been called yet. Yeah, Op. Op also recovered from Icy's body, so right back into the hands of the Jet. This map playing, so far, playing the defender side it is. What is this little lineup from Creeper Zone? <coughs> Excuse me. Get out of my way! Here it comes. Pretty cute little knife here. Not gonna catch anything though, but I love it. Very cute. Mid kind of crunch coming here. On the go. Oh, Icy legs him! Five HP left on Moft. Ego kind of jiggle peeking. Oh, sees the first. Dinks into him. Gets the dink, but Sci Fi trades back with a headshot of their own, and there is a 150. Mason now will collect a gun. Four versus five. Cloud Sauce trying to get their first round on the board. Oh, Mason gets seen and sprayed down by Creeper Zone. Moft just avoids disaster. Molly comes through trying to delay the push through tree. I see sees him. Knows he's there. Here's them two there. Here comes their all three, working their way on. Icy gets sci-fi. Demon though gets that. Guardian Gamer. Love it. Oh, here comes the alt. Oh, they get spagged, tagged out. Who gets Icy though? But two versus two. Oh, tagged up as you go. He's getting hammered away by the Odin. Demon working their way to me. Get there. Goku's down. One enemy remaining. Here it comes, but here's the alt. Oh, and it tags him. That's gonna be. Oh, dodges it. Oh. Doesn't Last dodge it the second standing. one. Clutch. Oh. The delay. Demon putting that first round on the board for Cloud Sus. Such a great delay by Demon there, especially knowing you can't take the fight. Uh, that's 5 HP. First round on the board. Timeout coming in for Cloud Sus. Cloud Sus finally getting one on the board there, but. By the skin of their teeth, more more or less. Again, five HP on Demon, ha needing to play that post plant. If Prisma just like went and revived their teammate, maybe baited out the ult there. Honestly, they kind of won that. It was just one of those micro decisions. That's 2020. You know, hindsight is 2020. Absolutely. Um, Could have made it a six all round. They don't really lose that much though. Obviously, they they are 
not that great with Econ, especially with all the Odins they've been buying and the Ops. Yeah, rounds oh. have been close, which has kept their Econ mildly under control, but still, I see Zaf and Prisma kind of full buy next round regardless, and I see has Knives, which will make them, even if they lose this round, they will still probably be able to have three rifles and Knives. While they do have Knives, Jugoku does have his ult, which just kind of cancels out most That's true, of... but will Jugoku use it this round? It's kind of that game of chicken. Honestly, I think they're going to hit B right now because Mason's one point away. And then that's just like an easy hit there. And I I, I think FT kind of has a read on it. Uh, but it looks like they're, play, they're playing default kind of split. Just, just They want Mason to get this ult orb and they want to hit a site. Absolutely. But they do still have Zaf's ult for retake. We could have some Venn diagrams this round. Knife mid, going to catch these two players. It does get broken. Sci-Fi takes on his little jump peek with the dodge. It's two from Icy there, two up top. Face. Mason just is trying to lurk. Icy gets that first kill onto Demon. From mid, Jigoku, though, trades back onto Icy. Prisma, though, gets two with the Odin. Mason, though, gets Ego. That's alt online, but still a three versus two. Mason, low HP. Creeper's on holding. Mason sees it, though. Both miss each other in the initial exchange. Walker's off Moth, coming to follow up. Uto coming. The door, door Q, Creeper's on trying to push through. It gets nothing, Spike is gonna go down. What are these shock, shock darts? Oh, these are pretty good shock darts, but just avoided by Moft. Just takes a touch of damage, but here comes that defender lockdown. Last player standing. Creeper's on gets it. I think Mason's just to have to save his ult. Oh. And Prisma, the Odin, claims its third victim. Thanks. Great retake. Prisma now one away from their own so all. 6-1 now in favor of the Tanukis. Tanukis looking really good on their defense now. In previous <laughs> games, they weren't maybe the maps weren't really right, defense team. favored. I would say split is a little bit defense favored in my opinion. Um, but here, they're showing just how strong the defense is and how they will just keep pushing the advantage. And they know when to take space and when to play passive. Yeah, absolutely. Money, once again, just never... And you know, stabilized for Cloud Sus. One hero rifle, SMGs and a sheriff. Revealing area. Here comes Prisma ready just to spam away. Icy taking aggressive contact, sees the turret. Two players working up through mid. Could run into Creeper Zone here. Jigoku trying to flash them into it. Double pushing. Creeper Zone backing up, trying to play the range advantage of his rifle against these SMGs. Oh, sees Jigoku's shoulder. Heals his position as well. Some flash combo. Here comes that Molly trying to delay. Is for some back. Zaf breaking his retail mid. Shock darts coming in. Does tag Zaf a bit. Some chip damage done. Demon with that one rifle though. Zaf though gets Mason. <clears throat> Does take some damage but is still alive. Alarm bot is broken mid. Three players mid. Look, count strike that all four now coming up mid. Icy going to potentially face. Dash is broken. Knife claims him. They know he's there. Jigoku oh, ripping the ult. And Icy just trying to play discipline in the smoke. But Sci Fi looks to try to help. But all the time comes. Icy gets one. Icy gets two. Ego gets one on Jigoku. And Icy cleans up Demon. Beautiful. Beautiful discipline by Icy there. Beautiful picks by Zaf there. But honestly, Icy just staying in the smoke. Not even pushing and just waiting for it to go, and then just that quick reaction time of getting one, two, um, Ego helping him getting a third, well, Ego getting that third, and then that fourth. Just pop and swing it, actually. Just reload, like, finishing his reload and walking out, and then killing him. Yep. Good team swinging from the Tanukis. As their defensive engine continues to rev. Rifles, though, back in the hands of Cloud Sus. Really need this round. You should run. Attacker KJ coming out, really trying to take this A site. But, again, does not fully clear hell. Two players hiding here. They're going to have to try to push into these guys. Initial blind, trying to buy some time. Sci Fi, though, in his own smoke. Jigoku, though, gets killed. Icy and Sci Fi trading back. Kills. Icy, though, gets a second. Icy gets a third. Ma get the fourth. Icy, get a fourth. He's on for the ace. It's Demon trying to deny. Spike down. Oh no, Demon's works way in. Demon gets one onto Prisma. 
I see wants the first ace. Wants the first ace. Gets the ah. first ace. First ace of the season goes to Icy of FT. After a Honestly, couple... just great gunplay there from him. They, they, two of them pushed him just in heaven, and he somehow still survived. Yeah, just got down in hell and just won it. You know, that's like kind of the one week that cage location. If you don't have, you don't use the U2 to clear hell quickly enough. They'll be there waiting for you. So maybe would have liked to see some K or Sova use to try to push them out. But again, back on an eco. Our Cloud Sus as the money is now pretty outrageous for Tanukis. Hero rifle by Demon. I see just dodges the dart. Ego gets Jingoku on that first pick. <clears throat> I see now taking aggressive mid control, trying to fight him here. Tiles. Demon working this flank. Moss Sheriff in hand, potentially about to take contact. With Icy. Not smoking it off. Ego gets Demon. Who is lurking with the rifle. Rifle hard now hard to recover for the rest of the team. Zap holding a bit of an off angle. Sees Sci-Fi. Kills Sci-Fi. Icy gets him off. Prisma spams down Mason through the wall. Odin go burr. Odin go burr. Nine rounds now. Icy has warmed up. He is feeling himself. He is ready. He's ready to show the audience what he's made of. Bit of a down map on split, but even still rallied at the end and has kept their 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 form from the attacking half of split into this defensive half. Creeper zone opting for half shields at uh, 9k credits is a it's an interesting move yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to show that he's better than the team. Who or he just forgot, you know. Or classic. he just forgot. All right, I see taking an aggressive push. Still, one player that demon pushing up knife in hand. Timing here could be everything. Interesting shock dart combo here. Oh, oh, demon gets got by icy. Doesn't react in time to the turret pop. You go. Potentially gonna take some contact here mid with Mason. Mason wins it out onto Ego. Icy moving to try to fill that gap in the defense. Other moth working his way a main again. Smoking mid trying to allow for the cross. Jigoku gets a great kill on a creeper zone. I see still holding here through tree by broken glass. Jingoku potentially prepping a flash. Mason tapping back and forth. I see both low HP after the exchange. That dashing being said. I see just playing super aggressive here. Gets the timing potential. Oh, just gets out somehow barely with their lives. Two verses for Zath and I see in a 2v4 post one scenario. Icy though makes it a three versus two. Low HP on Icy though, but low HP Last on Mason as well. Sci-Fi though gets Zaf. Sci-Fi looking to secure the round. Or team Icy just trying to tap away, get that extra next kill. <clears throat> Util game being played though. So much Util on the spike. This is gonna be very tough for Icy to win. And Sci-Fi will secure the round 9-2. Unfortunately his his uh his penetration Last bullets to just not go through that bad. box, just not not deep enough. Only 22 HP, not a very winnable scenario there. But still, they are completely rich. They're going into this half 9-2. They might make it a 9-3, maybe maybe, an, um, maybe a 10-2. I'm kind of banking more of this being on a 10-2, but we'll see. We shall hop on Creeper Zone's hand this time. Knives will be available for icing. Prisma has that Sova ult. And that Odin still. Arrows being traded. Information not really gathered. Jingoku breaks the initial dart. Mid smoke. Creeper zone. Still trying to hold. This is going to be a close push. He's about to walk into something here. Sees Demon though. Almost. Just misses the collapse. Demon pushes through. Gets the kill. Icy though trades immediately back onto Demon. Four versus three in favor of the Tanukis. Prisma. This is a little with his drone. Ego holding as well, dodging the KO Util. Spike looks like it's starting to rotate towards A, but the team might just be gathering mid. Zaf just kind of a, on his lonesome B, kind of the sucky part of playing uh, KJ. Is no one wants to come to your B. Knife will catch Prisma though, but still holding with that Odin. He could rev it up or is it turning off for a moment get sci-fi oh. doesn't moth kills him just in time to spare sci-fi's life three versus three mid pressure coming but zaf still on b a lot of util yet to be dealt with 
ego working in to left. push it to join. <clears throat> Sci-fi. Icy with those knives. Waiting to hold, waiting to swing off Zaf's util contact. Gets one. one gets two. Gets two. Third down, kill B. of the round two with those knives. Jingoku trapped battling Ego, and Ego will collect him 10 to half for the flaming Tanukis. Unfortunate timing hitting the switch there and having their gun. Or they're just like aiming just down towards the switch. Oh, classic, a little, a little mistake. And now allowing Icy just to clean up there. What I what I really liked about FT setup, uh, maybe they predicted um, CS that would do this, is CS pushed mid a lot, and they would fight the mid, but they wouldn't overcommit. They would have the alarm out there if they actually committed mid for CS, uh, for FT to notify themselves. Or if they did push on mid, there was always another person, or they they hid behind like really close cover, yeah. so they, they didn't have to commit and they could just run away. I'd like to see what's going on there with their attacking side and if they're going to do something similar uh, of just gaining mid or if they're just going to hit sites. Absolutely. Looks like three players are aggressing mid now for the Tanukis. Smoking off Cat, knifing close, trying to get some intel. KJ setup though is B. Tough to push through, especially on pistol round. Door being, I think maybe essentially pre-closed or broken here. Yeah, door being pre-broken. Oh, what a shot by Jigoku. Takes the first bullet around. Mason gets Ooh. icy. Important round here for Sus to, Cloud Sus to try to collect. Prisma tapping through with Jigoku on this smoke. Oh, sees Ego as well. All three are mid. Ooh, dinked. But the 87 dink. Low HP on everyone, but Prisma gets Jigoku. Zaf, though, gets sci fi. Two versus three, but HP low for the Tanukis. Mostly full HP left for Cloud Saw. Still trying, still kind of trapped in mid. Mason working on this flank. Timing could left. be everything. As Demon still just trying to hold. He hears Zaf, Mason waiting with infinite patience. Gets him. Demon gets Prisma. I have more tests to run. A win the round, for CS there. They, they needed to win that round, and they did. Mason kind of to... not overcommitting finally, and just kind of waiting for that information, waiting on his teammates to call out, and then finally swinging there. That's that's what I wanted to see from the defensive half, which I feel like I didn't see too much of. All right. All right, we'll need a hopefully a pretty clean. Yeah, we'll need a clean. We want a clean round here from Cloud Sus. So they can carry a lot of weapons into the bonus if they hope to mount a comeback here. Alrighty then, four players, all players, kind of live with this B two going mid, one holding long, one lurking up into this potential one way near A. Jigoku holding. Here, get smoked off. He's going to try to peek out of it, running into Ego and Icy here. But they're line up for him. Easy double spray down. First two kills to Jingoku. Kind of buying himself more time or being taken in A main. Spike, though, still mid with Demon. Sci fi. Oh, no, sorry, with Prisma. Sci fi. That Marshall trying to aggress. Mason pushing out from B. Moff gets Zap. Moff gets Prisma. It's all on a. Creeper. Oh, he's gonna get spotted by that. They know, know where he wide. is. They're looking for blood and a flawless round. If they can get it. Just know he's there. Just gotta wait. Be patient. Here comes the flash. Mason cleans it up on the flank. It's what there they needed go. to carry a lot of weapons into this very important bonus round for them. Making a good mix against these rifles. CS doing a really good job of defending here. FT not making great use of their space here, both in the pistol round and in this round. A lot of the times when they were aggressing towards something, they would get pincered off or they would get easily just one or two down and not know what to do. They would scramble like flies. Absolutely, 10-4. First rifle round now for the Tanukis. Heavy B lean currently, not even thinking about mad. One now beginning to consider mid. Other one still just kind of droning out, creeping up onto B. Cover going out. 
All right, still Moth working this flank. Demon trying to drone it out. Here comes the pop and the execute. Ares trying to bang through. Creeper, though, gets that first kill onto Demon. Icy, though, gets another onto Jigoku. Mason playing back site. Needs to get some value here. See Zaf. Zaf sees him. Zaf wins it out. Gun diff. Cypher, though, gets Icy, though, with that Marshall. But it is one versus four. Rifle now in the hand. Full armor. We need to see something pretty special from Sci-Fi here. Thinking of that flank time, they're all on site. Ego playing this tight angle to the door. Door gets broken. Expecting the flank from everywhere. It's coming from Prisma. Prisma working this flank. Sci-Fi sees it. Sci-Fi has the better check. Three versus one. Need to just play their defaults here, not give away the 1v1s. Ego playing that tight angle. And Sci-Fi kind of knows, trying to swoop peek it, tapping away, but good micro positioning, but avoids it. Spikes off, but just getting sprayed from all sides, and Creeper Zone will finally collect that kill. 11th round on the board for the Tanuki. It's a valiant attempt at a bonus, but in the end, a stabilizing round for flying Tanukis. Both teams now on a rifle round, sure, maybe some having half armor. But it looks like it might be an equal amount for both half armor. Actually, Prisma, not enough to buy. Might need to get a, a Spectre or a Stinger or something like that. Nope, just buying full armor on their abilities and just a pistol. Rely on their teammates. Well, Demon, the Sova, now it's his turn with the Woden. Now it's Absolutely. his turn to get the wall bank kills. Absolutely. Very important round. Money in the balance for both teams. With Tanuki's looking to push us to match point here on the third map of the night. Working their way up onto A. I see collecting that orb. Bringing them ever closer to those knives. Looking like we're about to get a burst. Blind comes through, knife comes through. Dashing onto site. I see getting deep very quickly. Door going to get closed. Good initial take here. Still, Mason though hiding underneath and Icy gets that first important pick onto Mason. Odin though, spamming away. Ego just barely avoids a good teleport. Moth breaks the door. Two players though now aggressing towards Moth. He's gonna need to get some value here. Gonna need to win one onto his opposite number, but he's reloading, caught in the reload, getting swung by Mott. Icy swings with as well, gets one, but Ego trades back. Creeper Zone gets one onto Demon as well. Four versus two. Sci-Fi trades them back, three versus two. Ego's worked away into a pretty awkward off angle. To make this reaching a little harder. One way setup on the spike. Still a lot of post plant utility. Jigoku though gets that. Ego gets Jigoku. One versus two, all on Sci-Fi. Low HP though for Ego. But Ego playing the good crossfire. Secures third kill of the round and the round. Match point eight chances match for point. the Tanukis to take the first match of the season match point here what, what seven eight eight rounds they need eight to bring it back here oh eight chances as our good friend sliggy says well it looks like they might have a good chance because ft's wanting to hit b and it seems like cs that's b's heavy sight absolutely b. ego setting up an omen flash trap play could catch sci-fi this could be unfortunate the timing here Initial utility broken. Ares, though, could stamp straight. Not going with the trap play. Sci-Fi set up in the open, though. Icy wins out that important first duel. Icy really feeling it in this last map. Breaks the tower. Here comes KO. Helping them get onto site. Mason playing in the smoke. Trying to hope someone pushes through. Icy being very disciplined not to push through the smoke. Mason trying to get some value. Gets one, but is immediately traded back by Icy, who then gets to go for their third. Demon gets... One on to Zaf. Moff gets Last icy weak. Standing. It's Moff versus two. Icy low. Prisma plants the spike. spike Moff has blind. And full armor. But still, one versus two. Passive angles being played. Icy is basically going out. Looking to Just tapping away. Icy though. Icy gets it with the 4k to finish it off. 13-4. Match one goes to FT for Elysium. And a little bit of BM there at the end, killing their right teammate. <laughs> the defending champions begin their road to their title defense with a tightly contested first two maps today, showing again their haven supremacy they showed during last season.
Honestly, even with some new members, still reigns on with a st- d- d- decisive 13-4 win here on the Decider map, Haven. With all, with how both teams' math picks were still kind of close to each other, I was expecting Ascent to kind of also be that close for it to be such a, I wouldn't say upset, but for such a takeover. It, it's kind of interesting to me to show maybe is it was it like the defense side where, where players just tired, or is FT just like, practice a lot how they scrimmed a lot on ascent and they've gone those fundamentals down i feel like every team i've either played against staff or with staff they always have a very good idea of how to play ascent i see also kind of finally warming up there 25 well, and 9 25 you know he had a little he had a rough first half on split but then really heated up in the second half and he was really powerful both uh first map and this last map Dropping, I believe, a combined 40, 54 kills across the, the two maps they won. Insane. Honestly, insane. Honestly, but still, a great first match between FT and CS. FT winning their, their next one, getting the upper seed there. CS, I believe they, they'll, they'll have a match next week as well. We have some other matches this week as well. Unsure if we're going to be streaming all of them, uh, but we, uh, we have three other matches all on Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. EST or EDT is Asp- our Asphodel League. CS versus FT, the Asphodel version. We'll see how they go. And Elysium, K- uh, Kins with Mins or KWM versus Snowcap Gaming or SCG. That one's also at 8, 8 o'clock. And then we have Asphodel um, at, I believe, 9 o'clock. So an hour later, another Asphodel match between Snowcap Gaming and um, KWM as well. Uh, a lot happening this Sunday. Again, we can't confirm we're going to be streaming all of them, but if we do stream some of them, we'll post them in the MVA Discord of who's streaming them, whether it be us, the um, quote-unquote official MVA uh, production channel, or uh, if one of our lo- lovely coaches or just w- lovely members will go ahead and stream with that. Absolutely. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. I, am I too young to understand that? Uh, you did you not ever have a monster truck showcase come to your town? That's the line for monster truck jam. Okay, I know the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That's like that's wrestling. No, um, that's monster truck. Content. That's monster trucks. Oh, that's monster oh, trucks, I, I, baby. I, I, I might be, I might be showing my young age a little bit. Uh, but right. besides that, um, uh, go ahead and please uh, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to go ahead and type in chat, exclamation mark Discord for an invite. We love new people coming and joining here. We hope you all have a, had a wonderful night. It is pretty late for people on the East Coast. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. We hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend as well. And we hope to see you Sunday. And night, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.